folks we're starting things a little different tonight welcome each and every one of you you guys see what's on the board yes we're having an interview tonight yes we're gonna have the awesome buddy here our good friend but right now i can help with another good friend of mine who's seven nine nine three that's right folks so we're doing things a little different we're starting off with a bang it's a friday night it's a celebration night it's a party night and i'm asking you guys for some help I'm asking you to tweet this out. Oh boy. I gotta help my buddy out here, Nightshade, because he's at 7,993. And uh, we've been kind of knowing each other right from the beginning. He has been absolutely awesome to us. And I just want to throw him back some love. So I need you guys' help. This has got to go fast, guys, because remember tonight we do have an interview, an amazing interview. But right now, I just want to kick things off with a bang. Get Nightshade here to 8,000. That's only seven away. I know Nightshade knows everybody, guys. That's right. This is why I'm asking you guys to help me out. You guys are the miracle makers. And I need you guys to scramble around, find anybody who doesn't know Nightshade, get them in here to help get them over 8K. We don't have a lot of time, like I say, but we've moved mountains before. Hope you guys can help. You guys think you can do it? I know we can do something here, guys. We've always come together. We can always make things happen. And this is why I'm asking you guys. I know he always, you know, yeah, I know, I know. He's, uh, he's worked really hard at it, boys. He's worked the floor many times and uh, just want to kind of throw back some love to him. So we're all in this together. We, uh, and he's helped me lots of times get other people where they got to get to. So I'm just throwing it out there, 7,993. He is seven away from 8,000. Six away from 8,000. And hey that's there, right, Shane. it's Friday night that's and it's right. time to party. And we started that's the right. party with uh, Night Shame's numbers, that's right. Yes. Night Shame, you love Night Shame. And even if you don't, you love his live streams because he's a great community supporter. Oh, oops. <laughs> Group supporter. You yeah. love his live streams. That's you right. do because you meet some amazing people right there. Even if you're not a gamer, you meet everybody right there in his live streams every night. He is on playing and talking with you guys and he's only five, five more. That's Let's right guys, Let's start rocking. More. Let's rock this Friday night. We can do it. Five more to go. Five more to go guys. Like I said, Night Shames helped us out lots of times and we had somebody close. I sent him over that way. He shouted them out, got them where they had to get to go, where they had to be. And I uh, just want to help them out here. We don't see you. You'll see us in just a minute, Hannah. Right now, you we'll focus see. on Nightshade. You'll Night see when we hit 8,000. You see us when we hit 8,000 with That's Nightshade. Right. We need to support each other, guys. No matter what the numbers are, we all want to grow together. Let's support each other and motivate each other yes. to grow. Let's hit. That's let's it. hit five more to go, guys. Yeah. Uh, message your friends. Message your neighbors. Knock on the doors. Five more to go. That's right, guys. There, the music's starting again. I want. We have to get to business. But you know what? Like I said, he's helped us out a lot. Thank you so much, JNC No Limit TV, for putting that link out there. I know Nightshade knows everybody. I didn't say this one was easy, but you know what? When we needed help and it wasn't easy, he was there right beside us. I just want to throw back some love to him. He has worked very, very hard to get there. That, I gotta say. Oh, Night Shame, I appreciate a lot you've done for us too, my friend. You know it's a two-way street. You've always been there with us. And now, guys, I want to pay back. Not that he's ever asked for it. I'm doing it because I never had to ask for it. He just told me everything. 
9995 guys. We gotta get five. You guys know anybody you can come over, tell them, message them, whatever, just something quickly. It's only five. I'm sure we know five people that haven't had the chance to meet Nightshin yet. Let's see him hit 8K. He has worked so hard on to it. Okay, five more to go, guys. Five more, come guys. on, come on. The faster we get there, the faster you see yeah, us. And we have an amazing night tonight. We have an unboxing from North Korea. We have yes. amazing guests tonight, musicians. That's right, that's right. And we want to get it started. But we want to kick it off with a great beginning for Night Shame yeah. 8K, guys. It is unbelievable. We all started together. Yes! Four, four more to go. go! Four more to go, go guys. You guys are awesome. Let's make it happen, guys, for Night Shame. Four away from 8K. Like I said, I knew this one wasn't going to be easy. He knows everybody and anybody. But you know what? We're in it together. Three more to go, guys. Three more to go. Three more to go. Let's see here. There we go. I'm tweeting. Uh, messaging to everybody right now. We need those numbers up. You know that OCD yep. for the Andrew. We need two more, two more to go, go, guys. Two more to go for Night Shame to hit 8K. This is awesome, guys. What a way to start a Friday than a party. Honestly. That's you know? right. That's right. Let's party now. It's Friday yep. night. TGIF. Tweet this out, guys. Let people know what's going on. Help us out. Hit the like button. If you're new here, subscribe. And at the same time, we got to get some of you in here that haven't had the chance to meet Night Shane and show him some love. So. Two more to go, two, two more, more to, go. to go. One, two, so easy, it's like Twix. There, ah! there we go, one, eight thousand and one. Eight thousand and one. Flood the chat with emojis, guys. Oh Flood yeah, it. hit that Flood chat it. with emojis. That's right. 8K, congratulations, that Night Shane. Awesome. Way to go, way to go, my friend. way to go, way to go, way to go. What a way to start off a Friday night. You have worked so hard, my friend. Uh, I can never, ever deny. And proud to call you a friend. Awesome job. Ah, sticky birds. There you go. There Those you monkeys go. are flooding That's in the what chat. We see. That's, That's what we celebrate. See. celebrate. That's the Friday yeah. night. This is amazing, guys. What a way to start off the weekend. 8,002. How freaking incredible is that? Congratulations. Yep. That is really Drum cool. Drum rolls and cakes That's balloons right. for a night shame. Man, you guys always come through. You are my heroes in every sense of the word. Thank you so very much. Night shame, congratulations to you, my friend. Well earned and well done. Night shame, a past guest of ours, a friend of ours, since we pretty much started on here, you know. You do bust your ass all the time. Nobody can take that away from you. Nobody can take That's that away right. from you. That's right. You do work very, very hard. Hustle and bustle and hustle some more. That's night chain. Yeah. Congratulations. And guys, it's going to be an amazing night tonight. Don't go anywhere. Unboxing from Korea. Something very surprising right there. And Sonny Greenwich, our pro musician. Canadian musician living in Ireland. That's all tonight. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool, I gotta say. Welcome each and every one of you guys Hi. here. How are you tonight? <laughs> now you can see us. Yes, that was so, oh, that was awesome. That was amazing. Thank yeah. you guys so much for supporting and yeah. always being so amazing. And thank you for supporting Night Shame. Uh, if you haven't visited his live streams, you definitely have to do that. It's a great place. Even if you're not a gamer, it's still a great place for uh, hanging out and chatting with friends. Chase Harper, who I met today. Great to have you in here. Welcome. Welcome, my friend. Uh, yeah, uh, that was, uh, like I say, we were just, I knew Night Shame was close, so we just checked not long before we went on, and that was really awesome. I'm going to shout out each and every one of your names in a moment, because you guys are definitely, as you know, the stars of the show. You guys are what make this chat what it is, you're what make this channel what it is. We owe it to you guys, so we will do that in just a minute. We'll let uh, people file in, and then we'll get going. Uh, it's a Friday night, guys. We have an awesome guest tonight. Uh, anybody who doesn't know, a Juno Award is the equivalent to a Grammy in the U.S. Uh, he's, li uh, he's living in Ireland right now. Lots of you already know Sonny. He's absolutely am amazing. And his father was an amazing musician as well, like Carnegie Hall and, and I mean, tons of jazz, uh, just... Uh, his father stuff. was a world-renowned jazz uh, guitar player, yes. uh, which is like a, such a virtuous thing to do. Yeah. Uh, guitar player yes. but jazz guitar player, like it's it's crazy it's crazy the scale and we definitely are so excited to see sonny greenwich 
uh, Juno award-winning Canadian band. Oh my God! Mm-hmm. Like I'm so starstruck right now. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely, definitely. That's gonna be amazing. Yep, that's it's it's really incredible, guys. It's really incredible. It's gonna be a great night. Uh, looking for some great chat, hanging out with you guys, all that great stuff. Awesome group of people. You guys are the cream of the crop, as I always say. Uh, oh, okay. Thank you very much, Ice Spike, and it's great to have you here. Not a problem. Noted. And uh, Bottle Top Bandit says, "Congrats, Push the Studios. You're still over forty five hundred. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm scared to jinx it, but you know what? Seems to be sticking. So that was." Uh, it was, uh, I was expecting to wake up this morning and not see it, but you know what? And also still over is Night Shame. That's right. Night Shame is holding on 8,002. How absolutely fantastic is that? What a great way to start off, guys. A little different than what we usually do in the interview nights, but you know what? You you guys are just incredible. You always make it happen no matter what. Thank you so much for being here, each and every one of you. Looking for a really, really fun night tonight. Lots of great chat. Uh ATGH travels. I always showed it the ones that just started the, were with us since the beginning. I just give them that little extra look because without them, we wouldn't have any of this stuff. So, ATGH travels is so awesome and uh, great family, uh, great travel. It's just got it all. So, and guys, don't go anywhere. We have some amazing things to do today before we start our interview. Yes, so, we'll let's have get to right be at it. some hey, fast. Hey. Uh, look at that. We got the mail today. That's right. And guess what? It says Korea Post. That's right. <gasps> that is so that is so mind blowing. You know, guys, uh, that YouTube, uh, after all and everything, it has managed to connect uh, all of yes. us together all across the board, all around the globe, uh, everywhere uh, in each uh, uh, continent. You know, people are watching us and uh, it is so great. And, and uh, we were so excited to, to see believe. that today. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, so this is going to be coming up. Uh, Andrew is going to be doing a roll call as always we do. We shout yep. you guys out to see who is in here and saying hi. And of course, hashtag Blue Ridge Group selfies. Don't forget about those. We had a ton of them yesterday so you want to join the fun fly natural don't worry it comes to everybody uh it's a lot of work and you will get there uh like i say we only had 42 subscribers at the uh end of february you know well that's okay then apple not a problem and don't forget to like and share and subscribe to us and if you're new to our channel uh there is a subscribe button somewhere down there Alrighty, guys time to shout out all you awesome people here we go as always, with Echo, to celebrate each and every one of you, because you guys are the star of the show. We have Visi and Yoga Bish TV. My God, a Bish TV. I hope I'm pronouncing it properly. My deepest, deepest apologies. The Drunk Fred, Drell's Artwork Channel, who I have to say was with us right from the very get-go, the original wrench, so please show Terrell's Artwork Channel some love. TCTV. Sticky Buds, Sticky Buds 420 is in here. Smoking Joe's Barbecue, Sky Pilot, Silly E Man, Ryan, Purple Rain, Puberty, Post X, Poster X Gamer, Proper FPV, Patricia Sprinkles, Oklahoma Droner, Night Shame, and once again, congratulations on hitting 8K. We're really proud of you. Well done, my friend. Nero Gen Mom, Nathan Likes Drums. Mystic Angel Christina, Mukbang Sisters, uh, Mool uh, Betel Bear Ledding. I'm so sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Mona Von uh, Sanders. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Rider Die, Mickey XOXO, Ken's Vlogs, Cardoso Media. I'm just talking to the oh, chat. Oh, okay, okay. So, <laughs> Jesus. John, like, I'm not in enough trouble already. John Amos, uh, Jesse Robert Garza, Jay Heran- Hernandez, Jason All of Nerds, Jamaica Girl 123, JC No Limit TV, I Spike, Hannah Humanitas, Gil Skills, Gabriel Z, Fly Natural, Fluffy Honey Tina, Fireman CV, Family Love Kitchen, Endless, uh, Edness, excuse me, oh my god, tonight, Dole Whip Dad, CSX Train Master, Chase Harper, Bottle Top Bandit, ATGA Travels, Alexandra Carrera, 
and Alex the Blue Man Review and Gamer and Akoiru. Thank you, each and every one of you, for coming. And if I did, and I'm sure I did miss some people from that list, please say hi, highlight our names so we can say hi right back at you, like EBRFPV, uh, uh, the, the Narcs TV. Hmm, there you go, Narcs TV. Who else do we have in here? Uh, New Gen Mom. Oh, that is so sweet. Thank you so much. Thank you so, Modern. so much. Yes. Uh, the Trump parody guy. Hey. Hello, and wanted to say hi to everybody who is listening to us on their headphones as well. Hello, uh, say hi in the chat if you can, and if you can, that's okay too. Hope you enjoy your Friday evening or Saturday morning with us. We have Mystic Angel Christina. How are you, family? Family fun. Family vloggers is here. Great to have you. Uh, I don't know if there's anybody I missed. Like I say, guys, if we did, just highlight her name and say hi, and we'll definitely say hi right back to you. It's great to have each and every one of you in here, and hope you guys are ready to have a great time tonight with our awesome guest, Sonny Greenwich Jr. This is going to be really awesome. But right now, we got a box unboxing going to go on all the way from South Korea. How cool is that? Uh, yes, that's right. And I tweeted out North Korea. Oh, my God. People probably Did got... Did you? Yeah. Oh, my God. We'll get a visit from the feds or something. Like I know. That. But uh, that's okay. That's okay. Well, my mistake. I was so excited. It's Korea all together that I, I tweeted out North Korea. People are going to be like, what? And I just want to welcome the Narcs TV. It's great to have you here. Giving you a So wrench. if you hear the knock on the door all of a sudden, and we disappear in blackness. Yes. <laughs> that's why. Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. I, I was just very exciting okay guys are you ready are you ready we are ready let's get this started okay excited to see you oh this amazing box right here we're so excited our postal offices were on strike unfortunately yes uh so we were so excited to actually uh get this in oh my god i don't even i don't even want to open it in a way you know like i want to savor the box it is cool. I, I, we we can't say thank you enough for going to all that trouble. Like that's just blows it's, us uh, away. It's so amazing. And guys, yes, yes uh, uh, you probably don't know who is it from. And I want it. We want it. We both wanted to thank uh, amazing Julie's Miracle Love School, uh, who are so nice to send yes. this package to us, uh, which is so amazing from so far away, thinking about us and doing something so amazingly nice. It is truly, truly kind of you to go to all that effort. Thank you so much. It, it's, it, it is. It's unbelievable. I was literally jumping up and down. When yeah. Seen it yeah, 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 yeah. How she fun. made it till this time without opening it oh, bewilders no. me, to be perfectly honest. Truly, truly does. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my oh. God. Oh. Oh. Julie, you are so amazing. You are so amazing. Let's see what we have here. <gasps> wow. Oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. We'll have to have a special video trying those out. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Wow. That is Chips so cool. from South Korea, guys. Yes. Have you ever tried those? There are three different kinds. Oh, my goodness. You're so kind. I, I, I can't believe <gasps> wow. you took the time to do that this for us. So yeah, that's really cool. That is so cool. We're gonna definitely gonna do a ta uh, taste mm. test video for that. That is so amazing. And there is a box here. <gasps> Let's see what is in the box. I love surprises. I love surprises so much. That is so amazing. <laughs> ah! Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh. Look at that, guys. Can you, do you see that? Even the box has our faces on well, it. That's, that's really oh, sweet. Oh, that is so <laughs> sweet. My goodness. My goodness. Julie, you, I, I ha I'm at loss with words yeah. uh, to thank you for being so kind, so amazing. That is really kind and, of you. And, and thinking about us. Oh, my God. <gasps> wow. Look at that. Aww. Oh, and it's pink inside. Oh, my goodness. There is a picture right here. And in the back, it says Pusha Studios. All the best wishes from Korea. Julie's Mirka Love School, Julie. Look at that. That is so cool. Isn't this amazing, guys? Yeah, that's really Isn't awesome. Isn't this amazing? Wow. 
I, I, we're so touched that you took the time to that do this. Like, send so it all. I can't. Cool. Yeah, can't now we're going to be fighting over it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Julie, uh, thank you. Thank you yeah. so much. If you guys haven't checked out Julie's Miracle Love School, so kind. Such a kind soul. Thank you so, so much. She was in a few minutes ago. I hope she's still here. Yes, uh, we have a huge time difference. Yes, I, exactly. There you go. Uh, mm. This is amazing. Yep. Uh, this is amazing. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. This is the best thing ever. Thank you so, so much. The Thank effort, you. the kindness into it. I have that made and had it sent all the way over. It's just exactly, absolutely. exactly. And of course, we're gonna be we're gonna be oh, trying yeah. these out. Yes, we're that's right. Maybe, these out. maybe right after we're done tonight, we'll try them and record it. So. Oh yes, definitely. Yeah. Thank I'm you. I'm curious. So and uh, much. actually, we don't have chips of those days, so it worked out perfectly. <laughs> uh, those are perfect yes, now for a better definitely. day. Yes, definitely. Thank you yeah. so so much. You are amazing once again. Yeah. Uh, thank you. We'll definitely post that on Twitter as well and a card to go as well, guys. Uh, there it is. Uh, so amazing. Thank you so much. God bless you too. Thank you. She's so kind. Thank you so, so much. That, oh my God. We really appreciate it. It's the time, the effort, and how everything is so personal on top of that. Like, I mean, very, what very, else can very we say? Very, very personalized. Oh yes. my God. This is. Uh, and like we say, oh. sorry, it took so long with, of course, with the mail on strike here. It should have been here earlier, but. Uh, you are just way too gracious and too sweet. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so, so much. Yeah, that was pretty nice. <laughs> wow. Well, guys, this yeah. has been a great start to the Friday night live yes. stream. Uh, we got Night Shame to 8K. We got amazing gifts from uh, Julie's Miracle School from Korea, all the way from Korea. And we're going to have amazing guests tonight. Sonny Greenwich, yep. uh, a Juno Award winning musician uh, from a 90s band, Boot yep. Sauce, That's uh, right. currently living in Ireland and uh, gigging around and recording his new album. Uh, so we're very excited for tonight. He's a real cool guy, too. Yeah, no, he's he's going to be a great listen, some great stuff to talk about. And that A real insider. And, and you've always heard me comparing what we do on YouTube to the music industry. So that's really going to have a heavy connection that way. On top of it, a very untalented, a very talented man. So you know, uh, I was just looking through. I was hoping she'd be here. She maybe she got disconnected because she wasn't sure for back and forth because it meant so much to us. We we're so touched by that. Oh, definitely. I can't believe Xenia made it all the way to now without opening it. I was sure. I love surprises, but I have a hard time waiting mm -hmm. <laughs> if I know it's there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh. I give you credit. You did it. Yeah, I give you credit. Yeah. Well, I I, I wanted Julie to be there as well. Mm. So that's uh. Thank you so so much. Uh. Well, guys. Uh. Just reminding you to hit that like yes, button, please. subscribe, and share if you can. Please, please do share. We do appreciate that. And of course, hashtag Blue Ridge Group selfie. Um, selfies out there. Hashtag Blue Ridge Group. Post your picture, and if it's on Twitter, we're gonna be sharing it out uh, tonight on our live stream and remember guys if you have merch and stuff like that i seen dickie's beer reviews in here he's a great example of that he always takes that extra moment to throw them on and uh it's a perfect place to sell off what you got going show it that's the place you can self-promote throw on all your merch your hats your shirts everything drape yourself in your brand and talking about merch we have merch as well if yes. you haven't checked in uh check that out uh blue wrench group merch available in a simple blue uh plain collection and of course the custom made seamless blue wrench pattern yes that's right uh, all those uh, little wrenches are right there on socks leggings t-shirts stickers everything you wish for and there's still time to order some for Christmas. They have extended their uh, order deadlines. I want to so say hi awesome. to Foul Fish. How are you, my friend? Great to see you here. I see people coming in, coming in. That's great. We're going to have a great chat tonight. Hope you guys are enjoying What a great way. It's going to be the perfect Friday night discussion. That's what's going to be cool about it. Lots of music stuff and, and just a nice vibe all around. And what a great way to start off a weekend and something like that. So. Oh, uh, so thank you, people Orton. are joining yeah. us from UK as well. Yes. Our guest is in Ireland, so he has a great uh, uh, time difference there as well. It's pretty late uh, there, <laughs> so uh, we are going to be inviting him uh, very, very soon, just in a couple <laughs> of minutes here. I love that Dole Whip Dad. Lots of great peeps in the chat as always, and you are one of them. You are the banner for that, so you are such a great person. So, thank you much, CCTV, for putting down the smash the. 
the like button and share on social Twitter. And I appreciate that so much. Really do. I just wanted to go back while we were doing that and see if I missed anybody. Uh, oh, I wore the same well, shirt for Fanatic three days. A... Even slept in it. Can you say merch? Oh. Is it some kind of different way I'm saying it, or is it you that is saying it in a different way? I've worn the same shirt for three days, even slept in it. Can you say merch? I've worn the same shirt for three days, even slept in it. Can you say merch? Thank you so much for supporting us, Farmer <laughs> Fanatic. <laughs> you are so awesome. <laughs> You are like the. I Thank just, you. Uh, no. Awesome guys. <laughs> <laughs> I love Thank you so much for supporting us. Farmel's been one of like the most amazing supportive people I've met on here. Like, uh, you can't go wrong with these people, and that's what they do. They helped us by being here. Whisper it, okay? We have worn the same shirt for three days, even slept in it. Can you say merch? <laughs> that would be a great commercial for our merch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm selling. Uh, <laughs> Farmal, <laughs> you're so awesome. I swear you are like. It's really actually a, go a good. We can we use this one? Yeah, I like that. Do you do you give us a permission to yeah. use this one for advertising purposes? Uh, <laughs> oh, guys, I gotta write it, it down. It is somewhere. so hot in here tonight, man. Well, I was Strange. freezing all day, so I, I don't know. know. I know. I don't know. What's I even up with checked you. the thermostats to see if you were playing with them, and I didn't see anything. No Any evidence, woman, so. any wife, girlfriend knows you don't play with thermostats. That's right. You don't <laughs> touch them. You don't breathe at them. You don't look at them. You pretend they're not there. I know what you mean. That's why yeah. I don't touch dishes because I know you don't go <laughs> near them. Every man should know that not go near the dishes yeah. whatsoever because she'll just get angry at you <laughs> of and tell you not to touch <laughs> them. <laughs> Oh. My voice is like an actor, Jay Yes, Horrendous. he okay. has a beautiful voice. Uh, oh looking forward You're to our kind. podcast <laughs> series, and especially with these mics now. I, I, I love his voice. Oklahoma Droner, don't worry. Now it's the evening one, so we always have our son uh, helping us out. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love <laughs> <laughs> You are so awesome. <laughs> you are so awesome. Oh. Thank you. Oh Farmal my god! Oh. And exploring ginger says alarms going off. Pusha Studios. <laughs> oh my, oh my god. god! Orton Thank image. You so much. Orton images. You're getting a cold. Pusha Studios, man. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, we were yesterday. We were up. a bit under the weather. And by the end of the stream yesterday, we streamed twice. By the way, guys, yes. if you missed that, we had our European edition. Uh, as always, it's 1 p.m. Oh Eastern, and then we went live at 7. It's been a long time since we did yeah. a double hitter. I that was say. cool. That was cool. Yeah. That was really awesome. It was really, yeah. really great. Uh, it was Thursday. fun. Yeah. It, it was, it's been a while, like I say, since we did it. We had a lot of fun. Guys, we're going to take a look at those selfies, and then we're going to bring on our guests. So don't go anywhere. It's just going to get better and better and better. Do, 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 do. We're going to start off tonight with our good buddy here, Oklahoma Droner. Isn't that cool? Waiting for the stream to start. Love it. Awesome. Yeah. You are so cool, my friend. What a what a great I love it. Thank you so very, very much. We really appreciate them, guys. We really do. Uh Visian Yogi Beach uh TV, thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. That's and I've cool. seen uh, lots of people today resharing our channel and our streams. Thank you, guys. It we does do mean a lot. appreciate that, yes. We can't thank you enough. That's been the best way we've grown is through word of advertisement. Wow, Fluffy Honey. Thank you so much. Yes, That's awesome. Looking great. Yes. We were worried about you for a couple of days. Uh, I hope everything is all right. It, we weren't sure if you were like in the hospital or visiting somebody and then the next one you were like laying down so i hope everything is okay yeah jesse robert garza what's going on that is just absolutely awesome yes you highlighted xenia's big moment right there so you definitely captured the moment thank you so very much <laughs> thank you ashley murphy welcome to our channel irvin the paid taurus hey huddle house so good to see you Senia is awesome. You're okay too, Andrew. <laughs> I pick up a load in Virginia tomorrow and take it to California. Yeah, Irvin always made his feelings quite clear. <laughs> well, I'm still happy to see you no matter what. <laughs> oh, man, you're crazy. Dave from Organic Grow Gardening. What's going on, my friend? Great to see you. Hope awesome. you're safe out there. 
Always, always a pleasure. Fuji Studios is live tonight, but I'm still working. I thank you so much for your selfies. Once again, you too as well. Like Irvin, be safe out on the road, guys. Be safe. Keep those wheels on the ground. And with that said, I think it's time to uh, get our guest. What do you think? Uh, huh? Yes, Happy I think. Happy Lux is in here. Wow. Thank you, Rise Diego. That is so kind of you. Really appreciate it. Retired and prepping's in here. Well, just that's awesome. Great to have you. Uh, Gypsy Strokes uh, uh, Stokes Makeup. Not Stokes. Sorry about that. And once again, as Xenia said, Ashley, thank you so much for coming. It's great to have you here. And Ashley the Grey. We've just got so many great channels in here. And we're about to bring our guest. Guys, if you haven't hit that like button, please do. If you can tweet out the stream, it really helps us, especially on a Friday night, because Fridays are tricky. You know, lots of people are just kind of taking it easy, and they're not checking their subscription ones as much and that. So it really does help us get uh, more people to engage with our amazing And guests. we love our Friday nights because yes. it is more chill out and yep. put your feet up and just chill and chat night. Uh, we do really enjoy them. And brings us back to uh, when we started in March. And yes. kind of have the same feeling usually. So that, welcome if you're new. That's very true. And also, guys, uh, uh, if you're... Oh, sorry, I just got a message here I was reading. Um, sorry for tonight for starting off with such a bang, but like it's like Xavier said, usually Friday's pretty chill, but like you guys are just unbelievable. Not only are you superheroes, I'm just singing your praises once again, but you're also uh, so adaptive to any of our crazy whims like that. <laughs> yes. Like I feel like David Bowie's career on here sometimes. You never know where it's going to go next. So you guys really are the real deal and can't thank you enough. So. Alrighty, how I'm going to pass over to you. I'm going to get this set up. So. Uh, yes. So, guys, uh, are you ready? We hope you are. Our guest tonight, Sonny Greenwich Jr. Uh, he's a son of world, a renowned jazz guitar player, uh, Sonny Greenwich uh, Sr. And uh, he also is a junior award-winning musician uh, for a 90s rock band, Boot Sauce, a Canadian, currently living in Ireland, and working on his personal album coming out uh, just, I think, in spring. Uh, so we are looking forward to all the stories from the tours, uh, to tips for musicians, to uh, all the little insights uh, of uh, music world. And I'm sure Andrew is going to have tons to talk with Sonny since Andrew has been working uh, previously in GM Industries and working a lot in behind the scenes of music industry. There's going to be lots to talk about, so don't go anywhere. Stay here. And we're going to have guests just in a couple moments. Let me adjust the camera. There. I hope you can see us. We have two cameras here available. Uh, one is for you guys to see us and the guest, and the other one is just solely for our guest uh, so th he can see us too. We are ready to go. Are you ready to go, hon? Yes, we are ready to go. Already, guys. Welcome. It's our pleasure to welcome Sonny Greenwich Jr. How are you, my friend? Can you hear us? We will have him in just a second, guys. We had a, done a dry run today. That happens sometimes with Zoom, so have no fear. We'll have him on in just a moment. I'm just going to jump back here. Yeah, we're there just we going to get him uh, back yep. up uh, and uh, fixed up with the sound, guys. He is joining us from Ireland. There is a, I think there is a five-hour difference or four-hour difference. A five-hour, yep, that's right. Five so hour he's difference. very kind with his time. Ashley's excited. Yes, that's right, very Sonny. True. Sonny is so cool. He really is. And we've also known him for a while, and he's just been nothing but superb. So, Well, really Ashley joined us just it. for the guest. Uh, she just joined us here, so uh, that's mm. awesome. Uh, just checking you out as well. Can you hear us now, Sonny? I can, yeah. You can? All right. Let's bring Sonny out. There oh, you go. <laughs> Welcome, my friend. <laughs> How <laughs> you doing? Good in yourself. Ah, oh, Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> I love your attitude. Yeah, yeah. I cannot thank you enough with the time difference and everything. Thank you. Uh, putting a time aside to join us, so we really do appreciate it. Oh, are you kidding? I'm always up late, so it's. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Musicians. Are you on Canadian time still? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, not not quite, but uh, but I but I am up late often, so. Uh, that's good, uh, good to be here. Anyway, and I, I was actually watching the chat, and I've seen a lot of names go by that I uh, recognize as well. Awesome. Yes, of course. They're here to listen to you. Yes, exactly. You're the man hey, of the guys. hour. <laughs> hey, Chaz, I see you there. And uh, I saw a friend of mine, uh, Michael Creedon, went by earlier uh, in the night. He was uh, he was my bass player over here 
uh, many years ago now, but he's living in in Canada somewhere at the moment. Oh my God! So you guys almost exchanged students. Like, <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is right. awesome. That is awesome. That's the thing about a life of a musician. It's not even just people you meet on the stage, but I mean everywhere. We were talking tonight about the music company that I worked for. It's a whole. It's like a, a whole life of just meeting people. You have connections everywhere you go. Basically, not like connections for work all the time, but just somebody in that area or within an hour that you can go and visit that you you've met along the way. Well, it, it's it's crazy that uh, we're here online. Uh, I mean, thirty years later, and I knew people that you worked with. It's uh, it's, it's 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 amazing. Uh, do you guys want to give a little backstory for those who don't know? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I'm I'm originally from Montreal, so and I worked in a music shop in Montreal uh, from the time I was about sixteen until I guess I was about twenty or so before I I kind of moved. Uh, uh, I moved to France for for a few years and then went back to Canada and joined the band Bootsos and that's 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 my story and I'm sticking to it. Orton <laughs> Images, hey, I'm in I'm in sale. <laughs> Orton's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many awesome ones, and even here where you've gotten to meet so many people as well. Oh but- well, I, I know half the people in the in the in the in the chat for sure. Well, that's been cool over time. I mean, you've really got to, but yeah, I'm digressing. I know Xenia's looking at me like, get to the, so I got, I know she's going to keep me on track because I get talking, especially with someone like you. I got a million roads I can travel. So yeah, you worked with a music company, uh, a music store, and then some, we were a supplier to it and even had a share in that one. Uh, it's amazing when you brought them up in the chat the other week. I was like almost like a ghost from Christmas past at first. Like, wow. I didn't think well, we had that kind of connection. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of saw you go a little white, and I thought, oh my goodness, did I, did, did something bad happen? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was very unexpected, uh, yeah. probably. I could have knocked me over with a feather. <laughs> <laughs> That's the beauty of YouTube and internet all yes. together. <laughs> yeah. Well, I worked for this music. A lot of you guys see me share my pictures, the ones with Slash and stuff like that. That was the music company I worked for, and then of course Sunny has a connection to them through the music store. So you would know them before I did, though, really. I guess well, I'm I'm probably a bit older than you are. I don't think too much. <laughs> yeah, a small bit, a small bit, I'd say. But yeah, I, I um, geez, I can't even remember when it was, but it would have been it would have been in the eighties. Yeah, I guess back I when they were so. first starting, like they were just yeah. getting off the ground. Well, he started Vantage Guitars. That was his yeah, whole absolutely. deal, selling maple. He was selling at the time. Japan was kind of like China, China is now. And he was selling maple to Japan. They'd build the guitars, and he'd buy them back, called Vantage, and bring them back here and sell them. Absolutely, I remember. I remember those guitars. Actually, they were, uh, you know, for the for the money, they were pretty good. Actually, you know. Well, they had that yeah. custom kind of paint look to them, even though it was mass produced, and that's what people yeah. want in the '80s. You know. Yeah, I, I remember the one that had the the one piece body, one one piece neck through the body, and the whole bit when that first came out, when that was the, the all the rage. Hey, Cardoza, how are you? He had that good one. See you, man. He had that one in his office, I think, still at the when I left. I think it was still there. Really? Yep, he was still. He was always very proud of that. I mean, that's what he built his career onto was getting started that way. Well, I remember when they first started flying over, of course, uh, it, w- it was a big deal to get to Japan in those mm. days. And I remember the first time I ever ate sushi, and it was it was amazing. You know? wow. Also, the fact that um, you couldn't afford sushi back in those days. No. <laughs> no one could afford it. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is very true. That was back pre-conservation uh, days when it was pretty much just fish clean almost. I mean, fish went for a pretty penny. Good fish. Yeah. Yeah, John John Crosby was still a minister of fishing back then. Oh my <laughs> God, there's a name from the past. Wow, I haven't heard him in a long time. Yeah, he had his plate full, <laughs> and not with fish. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> uh, what, what, like, we'll start from the beginning because I tend to do that later on. But I want to do this one with you. I always say this: I'm not Oprah. I don't make people cry. It's back where you feel comfortable in starting, and we're just going to start to paint a little bit of picture of you. You can start in elementary, high school, wherever you feel. Just a little bit about life growing up. Well, um, I suppose I, my, 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 I went to high school, first of all, in Le Moyne, Debreville, in Longay, oh. on the South Shore. Right. And uh, I was there until I was, I was about 15, I guess. And then I moved from there into town to uh, um, the school that was mined on, on Park Avenue. 
not 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 it's moved since then but it was a school called moving in new directions and it was called mind okay oh yes it was, yes it, it was in the ymca building on park avenue right i heard by st peter because yeah. i grew up in so, eastern quebec so i didn't know it so well growing up but i've heard about it oh uh, yeah well that, that it was it was kind of a school for for uh uh interesting people <laughs> kids on their own <laughs> path we'll call it <laughs> That's yeah, 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 yeah. independent well, learning that, yeah, it, it was it was um, it was pretty special. In fact, most of the people from that school did went on to do great things. Mm-hmm. You know? So, uh, um, a, a great place and and uh, nice people there too, of course. <laughs> do you feel you like school better once you got into there? Uh no, because I didn't really do much of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I, I went. I I was mostly doing music still, even at those days. Well, you um, grew up with it. Yeah, well, yeah, because my dad was a musician, so it was kind of, kind of, it was everywhere, right? And it was always there for me, you know. I mean, um, you had mentioned the Carnegie Hall thing earlier when my dad played there. He um, he was with Count Basie and the Spirituals to Swing tour, and I guess it was I don't know in the in the sixties at some point. And I was I was there with him, and of course I was only a small kid, so I I was sleeping in their in their what they what their luggage. They oh had this little gosh. luggage thing that was like about this, and I'd sleep right in it. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> what memories? Uh, Not every kid can say they have those kind of memories. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of funny. And I was sat with uh, Judy Collins, who's a singer, uh, when when I saw my dad play Carnegie Hall. So that's kind of interesting wow. too. That is yeah. a memory in itself. Yeah. And yeah. Just, uh, getting into music was kind of natural, uh, you know, l- like a next step, so to say, uh, because you were so much around it when you were growing up. Well, uh, funnily enough, it, it, no, it wasn't really that. I, I mean, I started playing guitar when I was 16, so I was kind of late to it, really. Yeah, I was surprised. Um, yeah, um, but it was a, it was a movie called a film about Jimi Hendrix. And when I saw that, I said, Oh man, I should, I should do this. <laughs> I should at least try it anyway. So, uh, when I started out, I, I did about, I'd say three or four years of five hours a day playing, you know, <clears throat> and that's, that's basically how I learned how to play guitar. Just like sitting there, listening to records, you moving from one place to the next, you know, to listen to it over and over and over again. Oh uh, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been down that road. Did your dad uh, was he supportive of you playing? Oh, of course, yeah. But yeah, he, sure. But well, he, well, I'm well. taking it at 16. Then that means he never tried to push it on you. He let you find it. No, no. He it was it was never. It, no, it, it wasn't like that. It was. Um, he kind of let me do whatever I wanted to do. But I was already interested in music, of course. At that point, you know, uh, I had already bought my first Beatles record with my own money, you know, oh. my pocket money and whatever that that kind of stuff. So it was. It was um, something that was always there. Had you considered yeah. another instrument at first besides guitar, or was guitar like? No, it was guitar right from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. it uh, <laughs> because sometimes I hear that about people like some of my guitarists I like, like Red Beach and that you know who spent years mm-hmm. playing keyboards before they even got into it. You know, which I mean, a lot of guitar players do have piano background, uh, especially soloists. Well, I think. I mean, I think most most musicians are able to get around on a keyboard at least. Uh, you yes. know, uh, uh, I mean, I could, I, I can't really play piano, but I, you know, I sort of know the chords, kind of. You know, right? I know, I know, I know enough to 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 <laughs> to get the music down Where you and record it. You know, that kind of way. I just saw Viva Fry was asking a question there. Yeah. Um, um, uh, I have a question. Uh, uh, most people are not a junior to senior. What psychological impact does that have growing up to be junior to senior? father having that title define your being by the way viva frey is from montreal as well so I, well I, I i know that that's like, like <laughs> that's i saw true. his name go by like, awesome yeah i've said he, he's a fantastic fantastic blogger oh yes viva definitely. Frey, yeah. um uh what i was going to say about that is you know it, it it never really occurred to me uh that really? there was anything unusual about it because i grew up with it right you know um it it never really I mean, what it did do for me is it opened doors, yes. you know. So, uh, I guess from from that way, um, yeah, I, I don't. Th- I'm not really sure how it how to, it, it didn't affect me in any way uh, detrimentally. Anyway, let's put it that way. I mean, it was a good thing, I'd say. 
That's that's a great way to look at it. And I think if it was detrimental, you would have had an answer within the first three seconds of it, just showing how much you had to think for an answer. I, I would say yeah. safely too. Yeah, I don't think it was too detrimental. Uh, beca but because of his, uh, um, you know, art and his fame, so to say, it, it did that. Uh, because it's kind of two parts. You're, you're not only the junior, but you're also kind of have to step up and and. Uh, have you ever um, had to like? Well, I have to be as good, or uh, uh, you know, F fill shoes or live up. Yeah, to expectations. you know, like <laughs> every. No, I, no. I never, I never thought of it that way because I mean, you know, music, music is kind of a language in in its own way, uh, and you just speak it the way you speak it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's not, it's not a, it's not a competition really, although some people feel it's that. Uh, for for me, it's never been that. It's 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 just an extension of what what you are yourself, you know. That's a great yeah. way of looking at it because I find yeah. like nowadays, especially with the pop music, where there is a family uh, musician dynasty is going on, there is a lot of that that they kind of try to outperform uh, each other, so to say. And uh, well, uh, yeah, I mean, when once money becomes an issue, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> that changes everything, you know. Yeah, like anything I mean, else, yes. I, yeah, man. Being a jazz musician, there wasn't a whole lot of money. There was a lot of fame, but no money. <laughs> yeah, no, I, and that is true. Like, I mean, one of the yeah, most yeah. technical driven styles of music, and it. We always had that joke at jam. They've heard it now a couple of times. I heard a musician on. They always say, "What's the difference between a jazz musician and a rock musician?" A jazz musician learns forty thousand chords to play in front of three people. A rock musician learns three chords to play in front of forty thousand. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, it really yeah, does sure. sum it up. It's not a joke. It's the actual truth. You know. You spend your whole life just developing techniques and and deriving <laughs> new uh, new chord progressions and uh, you know every minor miscule chord that hasn't been used in sixty years. A jazz musician finds a way to dig it up. It's an art form. It truly is the highest well, form of art. Well, they 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 do say it's the only original art form out of the states. Uh, you know, uh, of a, a like classical music would have been. From from a hundred years ago, or two, right. hundred, hundreds of years ago, rather, yes. uh, um, and the jazz came a hundred years ago, literally almost a hundred years ago as we speak now. That's true. Um, yeah, from from New Orleans. Yes, New Orleans. That's right. That's right. The birthplace, and it is. It's a true soul music. I mean, the progression, the 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 the, the, the patterns. I mean, is so intense and so immersive. It really does. It's, it's it really draws the raw emotions out of people. Yeah, well, again, most people uh, are scared of jazz music because they think it's 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 like math, you know. Yes, uh, it, it it is to a certain extent, but the the real thing about it is is how it makes you feel. Right, that's so right. So if you feel good listening to it, it, doesn't matter if it's a thousand chords or four. That's yeah. right. It's palatable. It's like the paintbrush on yeah. a painting. It doesn't matter the type of like layers of stroke and everything that was used. The end, the end. If it's pleasing to the eye, it's pleasing to the eye. Same as jazz, pleasing yeah, to absolutely. the ear. Absolutely, absolutely. What did your dad? Did he ever play? I wanted to ask you this. I didn't see it in the list. Did he ever play with Oscar Peterson? Well, they knew each other, of course. Right. Yeah, uh, I, I met Oscar a couple times back in, when I was much younger, but was um, but they never played together. Oscar was kind of more of a. Um, mainstream jazz where my dad would have been kind of you know on the on the eclectic side right the avant-garde like type of yeah yeah that, that kind of thing but but they did know each other and they, they were friendly really yeah oscar i mean yeah. i mean he's worshipped yeah. here in montreal i mean he's, well sure he's, he's yeah he's 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 from he's from montreal <laughs> yep. <I> mean, <laughs> he put montreal on the map for for the music i mean really you know absolutely he, he's he's i still say the inspiration behind the jazz fest and everything let's kind of bring it to fruition yeah yeah i mean the, the jazz fest it's it's unbelievable how i mean even now i mean i haven't been there in in 20 years but it, it's, oh. it's just blossoming <laughs> really? you know uh, I, I haven't been to the jazz fest so, well easily actually it's more than 20 years it's probably 25 years yeah. since i was last at the jazz festival oh my god um yeah um but but uh, uh the, I mean, you still hear about here here in Cork, you know, <laughs> sitting here and it's like, oh man, this this, this was all, this was happening at the Montreal Jazz Festival, and, you know, you see it on on YouTube and you see it on on the TV even sometimes. Well, Prince, Prince, I mean, you know, live everybody, performance everybody. outside. I mean, it, it's 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 a who's all and it's jazz, but like some people say, it's kind of like jazz and not jazz. You'll have some gospel. I mean, there is some root. 
it's not a diehard jazz, but maybe that's a great way to introduce people into jazz. Is not by bombarding them and giving them that kind of more of a looser look at it to, to maybe it'll draw them in to see more intense musicians. Well, we have a jazz festival here in Kinsale as well. And my town is, is well, it's 5,000, uh, a population of 5,000 here mm. in Kinsale. And it's it's a huge festival considering, but there's no jazz anywhere to be seen or heard. <laughs> <laughs> you, you might get some blues, <laughs> <laughs> possibly. <laughs> But that's that's it, you know. Uh, um, so yeah, I, I think the whole idea. I think people thought it was a great idea to do jazz right. as a, as a festival, mm. but in practice, it didn't bring enough people. Right. So they started bringing people, you know, like Stevie Wonder or whoever, you know, that to, to, that would bring in crowds to let the people that weren't bringing the money in uh, play as well. You know what I mean? Right. So. Uh, whatever you know, the, uh, the the guys that brought a lot of money into into Montreal helped the younger generation and the older generation of jazz players actually get gigs. I agree with that a hundred percent. Yeah, because I yeah, mean, in sure. the end, like the bills got to be paid, and yeah, the yeah. advertising, and it does give the other smaller musicians a forum, you know, a chance yeah, of to be seen on a platform. So, in the end, it is helping everybody. I do agree with that a hundred percent. We used to get a lot of requests at Jam. I mean, we worked a lot with those things like that. And that's exactly what was kind of the thought process behind it, was to, to have enough headliners to pay for everything and give the other ones a chance. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I just seen Cardozo Media was asking me uh, about coming to Winnipeg. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Winnipeg Jazz Festival. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I have a friend uh, who who's from Winnipeg, uh, uh, Ariel Posen, uh, He's a guitar player as well. Great, great guitar player. And he, I think he's on his way back to Winnipeg as we speak for, for Christmas and all that. Oh, nice. But, uh, <laughs> his, his wife is studying here in Cork. So, uh, oh, this one's really? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I have a connection, Cardoso. Yeah, a couple of expats <laughs> getting over there. You're starting to build yeah, up yeah. A, a following. So Yeah, Cardoso's <laughs> wife is from Iceland, by the way. Yes. <laughs> wow. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> we always talk about that because there's that spot outside of Iceland. The largest population of Icelandic people in the world is in uh, Winnipeg. And there's this, really? yeah, they 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 fish a lot of Lake Winnipeg, and they speak Icelandic. They have Icelandic signs and a lot of the stores and stuff like that. And wow, that's for, unbelievable! Especially for a small country. Well, the first year that we won the Stanley Cup, our soldiers at war war in World War One, it was Icelandic players mostly that won the cup for us that time. I see. I had no idea, but no idea about that. That's thanks to those Canadian moment things, you know, on yeah, CBC. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I like that. But I do, I do have a Montreal Canadiens T-shirt upstairs. And oh, do you? You're sporting oh. it. I, the last time I was in Montreal, I made sure I got one. <laughs> I'm not a very good Montrealer because I always went for Toronto or Boston, so I don't get a lot oh, of love when I'm yeah. there. Well, uh, we do uh, the boot sauce guys and my myself. We would. Um, play Toronto and for the encore put our Montreal Canadian shirts oh, on no. <laughs> in Toronto. They oh, loved my. it. <laughs> that is oh, awesome. My. Brave uh, and awesome. I love it. Uh, Viva Frey was saying that uh, he was in Cork 10 years ago. Great place for photography. Oh yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. UK and Great Britain in general. Ireland, Scotland. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> I did a road trip yeah. there a couple of years ago and I rented a car and drove. I didn't make it to Cork. I, I got stuck at the end and stayed more on northern side. It was just the way the timing worked out, and that was my right. biggest regret. Next time I go, I'm getting in the car, <laughs> and I'm not even stopping till I get down below. So I seen a good bit of it, though. And I was uh, One thing that I want to ask you right away, yeah. because I've you've been there for a while, and even everybody that goes there sees the coastal areas, and it is, I mean, spectacular. Words don't even describe it. But then I went yeah. to... Uh, Oh my God! Now I'm gonna get a brain for it. What was the name of that place? That's like five thousand years old. It's up close to the border of Belfast, and it's uh, the, uh, oh my God! It's yeah, old, uh, uh, Grange or uh, was yeah, New Grange? Yeah, New Grange. New Grange. New Grange. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Did you see that? Uh, I've never actually been there, but funny, I, I I gigged about half an hour from there, but I never stopped. Uh, unfortunately, we, we, it was late. So <laughs> oh no, okay then. Yeah, that wouldn't be so good if you ever yeah, yeah, get yeah. a chance. And nobody talks about it. I talked to lots of people in Ireland, and a lot didn't. They either knew about it and was kind of like, mm hmm, or uh, like it, none of the tour buses. Many don't seem to go that way. It was so. Yeah, it's even older than Stonehenge. It's, it, it, it's, it's yeah, it's it's amazing, and but it's kind of out of the way. Yes. a small bit, and. um 
I mean, it's, it's, it's really, there's not much to see there. It's kind of, it's kind of a, a mound with, with tunnels through it. Kind of well, it, it's know? all done in courts. And, and what happened was they, okay. Long story short, it's built longer. If they figure around 4,500 to 5,500 years old, and there's a bunch of them, but some of them are still buried. And about 400 years ago, they uh, commissioned this uh, guy to dig rock for a castle. And he dug down, and just by the luck of God, dug down right in front of the doorway into this main one. And they looked into it, didn't find anything too interesting. There was stuff, and then it got looted. And then they just said, well, there you go. So they it just it, it was a field, and they have pictures to like the 40s or 50s with cattle grazing on top of it because it was just a yeah, field. Yeah. Well, it, it still looks like a field over the top of it. It's, but it's, now it's, it's out. It's, yeah, but you can see all the white quartz onto it. It's yeah, around, around the sides, uh, around the sides, but the top is still grass. Yeah, that's there? right. And then they have yeah. the big rocks with the carvings in them that are 5,000 years old, and then they take you inside. And every year for one week during local solstice, it lights up those three chambers. That's exactly it. The sun comes straight through. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was mesmerized. Like, I just <laughs> was like, this is unbelievable. I, I well, don't know. I thought it was so impressive. I was, I was well, it, it's, it is it is amazing. But, I mean, if you're in Ireland, there's that kind of stuff, you know, mm. out, out my door. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, you know have a castle in your yard? <laughs> well, you know, there's 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 a there's a castle. You know, I could probably hit it with a stone from here. Oh, wow. You know, and there's there's at least two in Kinsale, if not three. And there's bits of falling down castles everywhere. Oh, there's a there's a mini Stonehenge about maybe twenty minutes drive from here, half an hour drive from here. Really? It is actually out in the middle of the field, and it looks exactly like Stonehenge, but it's it's just shorter. Oh my god. <laughs> That is so cool. No, and like I was, I was telling Xenia when I come back, I'm like, I'm driving by and there's this castle, like it's partly knocked down in this farmer's field and there's just sheep around it. Nobody's paying attention yeah. to this gigantic monstrosity, you know, with one wall gone and like two coming on the side. And it's just, just so unbelievable. Yeah, no, it's a, it's ever. Hey, Joe. Yes, hey, Joe is in the house. That is like a Canadian get together today. It is, yeah. it is, it is. Brilliant. I love that. Awesome. I love old channels, but I have, I'm always looking for another Canadian channel. Anytime I grab them, it's like collection, like stickers or something like that. Oh, see Canada, gotta get them. Yep, so. yep. Yep, uh, Ajo's, uh man, he's he's spectacular. He is fantastic he, YouTuber, man. Uh, he's a he, uh, one of one of the guys that I, I always look forward to seeing what he's doing. It's always crazy and good. It is. He really puts the time into it. He doesn't rush anything. When it comes out, it's great. It's polished. It looks nice. I always uh, call it a blockbuster yep. YouTube video because <laughs> yeah. you can't wait. It's going to come out. And, you know, it's all, it's always hit the right notes. It's, uh, it's really good. <laughs> Viva Frey says, just when you thought Canadian accents couldn't get any thicker, a Joe arrives. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh yes, of course. <laughs> I love it. I love oh, it. Oh my god! <laughs> I love it. So you enjoying your time on YouTube? You know the thing is, I, I, I think this is probably uh, the most fun I've had in years. Actually, really? Um, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm still gigging. I, I mean, I gig five nights a week normally. Right. Right. Ooh. But it's small, small gigs, and it's you know doing pubs and and that sort of thing. Um, and I kind of needed just something to. to as a, as a, um, I don't know, some, some something to do with myself, basically, right. you know, because I, I kind of, you know, I stopped, I quit smoking and, you know, and I, you know, I sort of kind of quit drinking and, you know, I was, I wanted something else to do, basically. Right. And, and I, I said, you know, my friends are saying, why don't you, why don't you do a YouTube thing? And I was like, eh, you know, I'm, like, I, you know, I felt like I didn't really have anything interesting to say to anybody, you know, so I didn't, I didn't know what to do, really. So right. I just kind of, started and kind of plopped it out there to see that's, what would happen <laughs> that, that's the best way to a lot of people do it that yeah. way they don't always come in with a big plan you know <laughs> yeah well I, there, there was absolutely no plan and 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 uh the thing is i i kind of thought that you know maybe maybe along the way some of the boot sauce guys from from you know might be interested in it and also i was uh i, I kind of want to do things uh about recording and that sort of stuff but uh, the, the problem i'm having is that I, I live in the middle of the countryside so my internet right. is ter is terrible here well it's coming in pretty so, good well yeah but i i think i get eight megs top here yeah you know and and not even half a meg up 
So what I wanted to do was to, to like do some live mixes. So do like a live show like yourself, but take a song and, and mix it live for people to, to, to watch and see what, you know, how, how a mix goes down and that sort of thing. Oh, I, and I did, I, I did actually test it out and it, it wouldn't go. It was too stuttery. And it, oh. didn't work. So that's kind of thing. But, but the good thing is they laid the internet last week Ooh. across the way. There you go. <laughs> it's coming. So, uh, yeah, it's coming. So probably in the next 15 years, it'll be in my house. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully faster than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it's great, though, that you got onto it. I really do. And I think every anybody who's artistic right away loves anything that's a new creative outlet. And it is a creative outlet. I mean, it's like an open palette, YouTube. Yeah, it, it, it's a it's a it's a great thing. And and I, you know, I, I see a lot of people talk about the burnout and and how, uh, you know, they get down and this sort of thing. But I, I kind of for me, it's it's never been something that I feel is is. Like I, I feel it's like another way of speaking, you know, and another way of talking to people that I don't know. And and the more people I meet, the the better I feel, you know. So why wouldn't you want to do it in 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 that kind of way? And I, I understand that there's a lot of pressure on some of the on the daily vloggers, especially and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, that's a part of it too. Exactly on that one, you bring but, up a good but, point. But I. I I guess what I'm trying to say is I actually am kind of just a happy guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, well, I don't know. You might be the I, I, most well suited for YouTube then if that's the case. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> it. Maybe maybe I should like it. <laughs> hey, Joey says, uh, yeah. uh, Sonny, this is just um, might be the most underrated YouTuber on YouTube. The quality of production and level of editing <laughs> coupled with the music is bar none. <laughs> that's awesome. a good point. Yes, yes. I, I do agree. Uh, I, well, thank you. I, I, I really appreciate that. Uh, the first time I, that you, you came in our stream, and I, I usually check like uh, people who come in just you know out of interest. And when I realized like your your channel, and then like hmm, that looks familiar, and I was starting to dig, I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> well, <laughs> really? <laughs> How is it yeah, possible? No, it's, you know, it's fun, funny you should mention that because uh, I remember it well as uh, as well. Because uh, I guess the next day I got an extra 200 subscribers from you guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, that's So I, re I remember it very well. And, and the channel, <laughs> and the channel is, uh, I'm, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm getting somewhere close to 800 now or something like yeah, that. Yeah, you're getting up and there. It's just, yeah, just, just slowly but surely coming along. And that, that, that's good by me, you know. 700, yeah. and, I'm looking right now, 767. I haven't refreshed it, though, I'm sure now. Oh, yeah. Even yeah. gone further, but uh, you go for great quality stuff. I mean, you know, and, and that's what I'm <laughs> trying to re uh, remind people that are very focused on numbers that it really doesn't really say anything about the quality of the content. No. You know, sometimes uh, and oftentimes, actually, uh, the people, uh, you know, you you don't even think. You don't expect that, right? We feel because everybody, well, you have to have millions to be great and so on. But no, there are many amazing channels that have a couple of hundreds and, and there are such gems. And I just uh, don't understand, for example, why YouTube don't push them more because of the quality. You know, yeah. it's not just because of the numbers. It kind of, you know. Well, I mean, the issue there, of course, is that it's, there's just too many of them. You know, I mean... <laughs> For for every one of us, it's just this the, of, of the smaller ones that are good. Mm -hmm. There's the YouTube can't keep up with it. Yeah, and and the and the uh, the the whatever mm. <laughs> the algorithm isn't smart. That's what I brought that <laughs> up the other week, and some I thought people would poo poo it, but I'm actually even getting private messages about it. That was kind of my talk I had with uh, in uh, what's his name in a minute. Uh, uh, the guy from Australia. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Sorry. Gives a minute. Gives Sorry. a minute. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, Ben. And it was, we were talking about the idea. I've always had this in my head. Yeah. YouTube should be open to everybody, a free market. But I wish they had something that if you really want to get into it, you do maybe 10 or 20 videos and then like an audition through a YouTube rep. If they like what you do, then you would pay like a nominal fee of like 500 or or $1,000. And you would start getting pushed more, say, maybe as if you had 10,000 subscribers you kind of get out of the, the first mix. Like the same as bands, if you're all playing in local little pubs, you know, it would give you a chance to play as if you're at a 2,000-seater. If, well, if you don't pay it, you would still continue on. 
Well, that's kind of the dirty little secret, isn't it? That, yes. that people do the people do pay. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they do pay for advertising. They do. <laughs> they they they, yep. they pay, and and uh, the same in the music industry. Yeah. Uh, you know. mm-hmm. Um, the first time I toured the UK and Ireland, uh, we paid twenty grand to get on the uh, the gig. Right. Right. Yeah. Up front. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then after each gig, we got paid. So we got paid our own money back in a yes, way. Yes, that's right. You know? That's right. Uh, but in those days, because it was so long ago, this was before. It, well, now it's really just business. Yeah. But in those days, it was just so that the guys could get their gear and everything ready to go for a huge tour up front. Right. Right. So that's what you paid on, and you got your money back. Yes. Whereas exactly. now you just pay and it's gone. Right. That's hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. And and YouTube, I, I'm not sure that I would want it to be like that. You know. Uh, no, that's why I was curious what you thought because of the industry. I know how that worked. That's why I was wanting to post that one. Well, I mean, I suppose I would pay something. <laughs> you know, it's the easy way out, isn't it? You but know, I wouldn't. No, but you would still have to work for it. The thing is, is that like some people just want to do it as a hobby, you know, and that's fine. Like I'm not knocking with it. Like that, there's two sun. And yeah, um, it would kind of. It wouldn't take away from what I was doing. It would be like a musician and you're starting off and you're not only competing against bands, but you're competing against people who just like to pick up the guitar in their house. Like, you know, YouTube yes. has got, you know what I mean? Because you're just in the run of the mill. You get thrown out. They'll show you the odd time, let you get seen. If you paid that and had that audition and they realized, okay, it's not a spam channel. It's not this. It'd be a little more selective, but you would start getting more of a return right away. You know, maybe they could open up like uh, advertising revenue right away and, and, uh, uh, super chat you would be more classified with the ones who are kind of pushing it a bit more kind of just to get through the reads a little well i mean you know any idea that gets you through the reads is good by me yeah <laughs> you know yeah, I mean? yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> i mean I, I, in essence that's what we're all doing you know right I, 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 you know, we're just trying hard to to poke our heads up a little you know yeah um that's true so it's, yeah, I, I, I don't I don't know where I fall on that because like I, I kind of although I like the idea of being able to maybe do something like that I, again if if you start having money involved it's gonna it's gonna people aren't aren't gonna get through the deserve to get through right and that's right. The, that's the problem and the issue with that as soon yeah. as soon as money's involved with anything then it kind of goes the wrong way but like you said money's <laughs> kind of already involved into it and oh, a lot of it's going to the black market if you want and people <laughs> buying their way which doesn't work anyways you're going to get caught by the ai but i mean it's still taking chances like you know yeah i like i, I often wondered about that because i mean when i first started i was thinking just well i mean like getting to 100 was crazy you know it was yeah. so hard and you know, I I got a hundred friends and none of them wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like everybody in you on Facebook telling yeah, them they, come over. They won't they, do it. They, I say, oh yeah, yeah, Sonny, I, yeah, I really like your channel and. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you hear that one a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why I love a hundred. I still, you've heard me saying it in shout outs. Thank you, son. I think a hundred is the most exciting number. I really do. Because it's the first taste of being a YouTuber, and it is hard to get there because nobody seems yeah. to notice you. They think you're a spammer. They think you're this and that. So yeah, it was it was it was it was difficult. Yeah. And I and I did think about like you know I saw all these sites saying well you know buy it for fifty bucks or whatever you buy a hundred hundred likes or whatever it was or hundred subscribers, but but I kept seeing people say not to do it, and well, I say well. How how are they gonna how are they gonna catch me? And then I said, well, maybe I better not do this. The AI <laughs> I, now it's worse because you got to compete against the computer now. So now yeah, it's an well, AI searching all the time. And yeah, you know, I've had one guy the other week. He said, but I have found this place that's really good. And there are some that uh, they kind of market it towards. The problem is, what happens to any company when they start losing money? They lie, and yeah. of course they say it's all natural. They hook you up to a bot, and then all of a sudden, all the views are coming from two countries like Poland. And it's like, you know, all the views are coming from like uh, Warsaw and Bangladesh. They can see right away there's a pattern, doesn't make any sense. And, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and also, uh, I'm not sure what they call those those big channels that that, uh, that gather YouTubers together. What are they called? Do you know what they're. Sub for sub? No, 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 no. Not a sub for sub. For sub. This is like an even bigger thing. And, uh, that, and I saw that one of the channels went bankrupt the other day. Oh, and, yes, uh, managers, you met yeah. networks, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Now that that basically is just uh, it's the same thing, but it got you know modeled after music company 
all the yeah. they, they support the big ones and the rest are all paying the bills for them. Hey, hey Joe, wait a minute. Where's that for where's that 1495 deal? <laughs> I'll I'll have that one. <laughs> oh my god, hey Joe, you're so crazy. Oh, no, <laughs> so <Steven>. true. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what we even uh, say. Like, you know, people say, well, now you walk in, wow, you know, here's Pusha Studios. They got, well, like, you know, 40 some hundred. We're, there's <laughs> no difference now than when we hit a thousand. Like, there's uh, no. It's, such it, it, yeah. it, it, it's the same struggles, the same everything. I mean, the air doesn't taste any better. It's the same run of the mill problems. Of word yeah, word, well, of course. You know. Hey, Hannah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> My my life is always filled with rain because I live in Ireland. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> it is so beautiful there, though. Oh, Pitch, it's amazing. Pictures do uh, not I mean, do it justice. It 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 wouldn't uh, it wouldn't be so green if it wasn't for the rain. So exactly. there is that. Yep. And it's it's unnatural green, beautiful. If you showed it as a real picture without editing it, people would think it's fake. It's so green, like oh, I, it's incredible. It really it really it really is incredible. Like I would have anyone, anyone, please come. Yes, uh, you are not gonna. Yeah, yeah. It is. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. It's 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 an amazing spot. And it's the, a great place in the world. The people are fantastic. Oh, uh, there's just, just there's just nothing wrong about it except you know it's small and and uh, the f- you know the food it, is fantastic. <laughs> My beer. <Yeah. laughs> My well, the beer is the beer is definitely fantastic. <laughs> and Jameson, let's not forget Jameson. <laughs> the J- J- Jameson is uh, twenty minutes down the road for me. Right oh here. man! <laughs> oh, I went on the tour of the old plant in Dublin. I, that was I don't usually do tours much, but I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm gonna, I'm yeah, gonna go to Jameson. And, and and the Guinness, of course. Yes, I'm not a big Guinness drinker. I'm not a big Guinness drink, but I said, well, in Rome, I have to. Like I said, well, this would be sacrilege not to. So Yeah, you know, I, I found myself drinking Murphy's, which is the cork version of Guinness. Right. And uh, it's funny. Once you get used to it, it's just like anything else. You know, at first, at first uh, you'd be, oh, I'd be full after one of them, you know? Oh, yeah, it's like eating a loaf but, of bread. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, you get, you get it. Well, that's, you get a, it. that's the theory behind it, right? It's like a meal. It's more of a meal than a drink. Well, what, was it the guy that went for a month with only Guinness, only drinking Guinness and no food? Wow. And uh, they said that they, all he had was a, a touch of scurvy. <laughs> that was it. Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh. Apparently. Who, I mean, it's probably apocryphal, but, you know. Yeah. Uh, Who knows? Vicey and Yogi Beach TV. Man, I'm pretty sure I got you two somewhere. <laughs> sticky Bud said a uh, Sticky yeah, Bud yeah. 420 green is an awesome color. <laughs> yeah, you know it. You know it, brother. <laughs> I love Sticky Buds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, Sticky Buds. Sticky Buds, uh, he's one of the guys I follow as well. Yeah, so. Isn't it cool how you meet these people and they become like so close in your life like that? You know, even through YouTube? You'd, you'd, never, you'd never imagine it. No. Nope. Uh, I, I I never thought. I mean, I'm even even you guys. Like I was, I, I see you guys so much in my life that I feel like I know you guys. You know what I mean? I love <laughs> it's that. crazy, but it. Uh, um, I was talking to um, oh, what's her name now? Uh, uh, ah, so <laughs> Ireland is Greenwich. Yeah, yeah. Ireland is at Greenwich. Mm-hmm. At, it's hard to keep track of the of the chat as it's flying by. No problem. And if you miss anything, Xenia's copying over any questions. Yeah, don't worry so. about that. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Or something, <laughs> I will yeah, read it out you. to you. <laughs> no, you're the star um, tonight. You get the special treatment. So, <laughs> oh well, thank thanks. I appreciate it. A- anyway, uh, I was talking to Gina Walters uh, yesterday. Right, who's also a, a, a vlogger and a great vlogger, and and she was saying that she felt like we knew each other yeah. personally, even even though we've never ever met. Mm-hmm. It's it's an amazing thing that, that you can have with YouTube, you know, it's that crazy. people feel that way with you. Um, but I suppose it's not so good if you're Casey Neistat. But no, you know, no, at that but, point, but, it's it's consumed your life. Like I yeah, mean, it is. It's, but 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 Casey also has the right uh, attitude towards it, you know, which is like, you know, yeah, it's me. See you later. He's like one of those rock stars that kind of admitted where he knew where it was going to go. He knew it would consume him, and he's not. He's fine with it. Like he's at peace with it. He knows how to handle. Yeah, it. Yeah, it's 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 all it's all good for him because he he doesn't have the the bad bits of it that came along. You know, like especially when we were coming up as rock stars, there was a lot of drugs and a lot of all the other stuff. You know, uh, right? Uh, 
he doesn't have that problem. Mm-hmm. So his problem is 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 just his sheer force of nature that he is. You know. <laughs> yes, that's a very good way of putting it. Actually, yeah. that's really true. Yeah. yeah. Um, who are some of the big ones that you like to follow? Um, well, I've got I, I, my last video is, is is exactly about that. Yeah, there was a top five, <laughs> yeah. but ended up being top. 11 i think yeah. <laughs> well the thing is there was probably like 17 in there all actually all the i was so, laughing at the end i'm like yeah, yeah. It's, well, it's hard it's to like, choose it's hard to choose well i i couldn't i, I mean you know i can't not say a joe because i love a joe but he hadn't put out a video in a month so i mean i forgot him you know that's why i brought this <laughs> up you know, I, was like, like, I was gonna put you on the spot and get you <laughs> that's exactly why it was a bit of a setup <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah yeah so it was it, like, but yeah, no it was it, look I, all those guys, I actually do watch. I love them, and I love Peter McKinnon, and uh, uh, they're, they're just great guys. Well, you we know, owe it to great, Peter. Great. Mc, Peter McKinnon is the inspiration that got us back here because we kind of oh, gave up on that, our channel. Absolutely, man. Yeah. The like uh, my last year's version of the five YouTubers, which was also ten or whatever. Um, <laughs> I put Peter McKinnon in because at that point he wasn't even that big, really. Right. Oh, yes, you know, he was, yeah. he was, he was, he was big, but not that, not as big as he is now. And the thing is, he's just a good old Canadian boy. And I love that. I love it too. He's yeah, staying, I mean, staying true to it. Yeah. He, really he still, yeah. seems to stay kind of the same as he was when he was starting. Like, you know, his personality doesn't seem yeah, to be Again, again, him. he doesn't have the issue of he's, he's not a, he's not a drinker really. He's not a, you know, all that stuff. It's, you know, it, he's got other things. Like his family and his, you know, new new baby and all the rest of it that are, that, that keep him grounded. Yep. Yes, exactly. You know? And I think that's kind of been a Canadian thing. I mean, uh, uh, sorry, Chris yep. Howe is another one. Yes, absolutely. Uh, that's kind of a Canadian thing about uh, comedians or actors that went to the states. Even they've ca- a lot of them still kept kind of that bit of sensibility with them. Like I met uh, from uh, Whose Line Is It Anyway, uh, Colin Mockery, a while back. Right, and I mean, he's had some pretty big show. I mean, he he was conf- Down earth? he was kind of baffled why I wanted to get a picture with him, and I'm like, "Well, you call him?" I said, "I would love. To. I said, I've loved your work for years," and he was more honored. And he goes with me, and I'm like, "I'd love to," and he's like, "Oh, okay." And then he's asked his wife, and you know, it wasn't like an awkwardness. He was very like he said, "Thank you," about three times. It's like I should be thanking you right now. You're the one, you know that. I'm well, like, that's. I mean, that, that that's the best way to to be. Hey, Benjamin, how you doing? Mm-hmm. Benjamin's in here talking about uh, new fathers. Nick Fam is in yeah. as well. I wanted to say hi to Sonny. I didn't. I didn't see Nick Fam there. Yeah, oh, Nick Fam is Nick in, Pham. and of course, guys, wishing y'all happy Woo! holidays. Love people. Love free. I love more. Thank you so much, guys. Our uh, previous guest as yep, well. For the first guest. Our actually first guest on season two. That's right. Fantastic. Thank you and, so and much. And there's Kelsey, Kelsey Bernard as well. Yes. A, a, a beautiful, beautiful singer. Lots of talent in here. Lots of great yeah, channels. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, love it, love it. And I actually do watch as many as I possibly can. Like, I've, I've followed a lot of people over, over this. I mean, since, uh, well, what, how long have I known you guys now? Six months or something? Yeah, something like something that. Something like that. Yes, yeah, I think so. Um, so I followed a lot of a lot of folks here, I, and I and I go watch them. <laughs> I Spike, I love you. I can't because I, I won't let me remove it. I have to time you out. But please, just I it's got to go for everybody. No self promotion, please. I Uh-oh. love I love you with all my heart. You're awesome, but I can't because <laughs> then everybody's gonna do it. So please, sorry about that. <laughs> I want. I don't want to time them out. I feel bad about doing that. So, <laughs> I don't know what it is with that. Sometimes you can remove a comment, and sometimes it will only give you the option of time out. And I've never figured out why. It just seems to be some sort of random glitch with YouTube, as usual. Well, there's a lot of those. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why one of those random. I threw that in proper because yeah. Um, well, for instance, uh, like uh, when I, I hadn't seen Gina's. Uh, stuff for a while and i was like what? how come it's not coming up mm. and, it, and i had been undinged or whatever you know the the bell was undung <laughs> yeah, it's unbelievable now how that's I, happening I don't know. i'm not i'm not sure why that is the only thing i can think is that is once you've once you reach a threshold of a certain amount of people it just goes and just cuts you cuts off people that you haven't watched in a while but it's that's more of a glitch think. in that part because it was supposed to be only like say uh i hadn't watched one of your videos in three months what they're trying to do now in theory is recycle Okay, you got two new people. We're going to get rid of Sonny because you haven't watched him in a while. All right. But now it's starting to hit even people that you watch every day. Like it's going out of control. So, yeah, that's yeah, why it, 
we put the message in now to definitely check everybody in live streams. Take a second and make sure you're still subscribed to them. Yeah, what what the thing is, I I haven't been unsubscribed. What no. it is is that I don't get the notices for the thing. So what I've taken to doing um, in order to keep up with people is uh, to just go into my subscriber thing at the top and just just go to the subscribe channel and watch who's there at the moment, right? And go through go through it that way. And I so many people that I said, well, I haven't seen them in months, but they've been <laughs> they've been releasing stuff, but I haven't heard anything, you know. Or the other part, I was just going through mine. I can't believe how many people I knew that haven't made a video in four or five months. I was shocked how many people, yeah, seven months. So many that yeah. have uh, it, it, given up on it or just disappeared. Yeah. yeah. And some yeah. of them really good ones, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a pity. Yeah, it, it does happen though. But, but, uh, but that being said, like some of these guys have, have got proper jobs and stuff as well. well you yeah. Know, uh, that's uh, working in, in the, in the film industry and the rest of it. So they, some of them are out for, for good reason. Yeah, and I mean, some of them too, just like the grind, and it is, it can be a grind onto it. Some people, you know, some sometimes the craziness in here catches up with them. There's like a ton of different reasons why it happens. And yeah, some people, I mean, some people get sick. That's the hard part. You get connected to somebody, and then all of a sudden they don't show up. Sometimes you won't even oh. know that they, then it has happened. Somebody's passed away. We didn't even know yep, for yep. two months. Yeah, no, yeah, sure. Well, I mean, it, it happens to me a lot because I haven't been home in so long, you know. True enough. So a lot, a lot, a lot of people from Montreal have uh, have, have passed uh, that I didn't even know about. Right. You know, so it's it, kind of. When was the last know. time you were in Montreal? Yeah. I was there. Uh, myself and Emma were there three years ago. Emma's my my wife. Um, yeah, we were there three years ago. Was the last time, and I was there. Uh, 13 years ago as well was the last time before that. Wow. Yeah, that's a, so that's I, a big break. That was my between. next question. Would you plan to come back anytime soon? I'm not sure if we're going to get a good answer right now or not. Well, um, yes, it's the answer. I will. I'll, I'll just, I, I, yeah, I will. I will be back soon because I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go to New York and hang out a little bit there and I'll be up in Montreal when I do that. So. You, you you already know the drill, right? You are going to contact us, right? We are. <laughs> oh gonna, yeah. yeah. But are you kidding? I'll be, I'll, I'll be expecting dinner. <laughs> that right. will be taken care of. So don't worry about that. That's right. You will get the home treatment. Don't even. I, that's all I needed to hear. So I'm good now. So awesome. Yes, because that is a necessity. So yeah, that's yeah, awesome. for sure. Um, I, I like what I what I sort of thought. I almost actually went to New York um, last week uh, for a meetup. There was that meetup at 393 Broadway. Um, I can't remember who, but like Sarah Dietschy and a few of those kind of people put it on. Put it on. Oh, okay. But there was a flight from Cork to New York for 250 euros. I was like, wow. return. I was like, wow. That's yeah, amazing. I know. It's, but it's like I, I almost did it just to go to the pop up mm. um, because the, the flights are so cheap. But I, I can't really, you know, that's it's, it's it's still enough money to throw away and right. And then, plus, you know, sleeping in the streets in New York is not. <laughs> no, well, no. that's the thing. You know, you're the there, you're gonna stay. <laughs> yeah. It's much more fun now than it used to be, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I traveled in Ireland, I slept in the car twice. Oh, I yeah, loved sure. it. it happens all the time. Just park yeah. it and go to sleep. I woke up with the nine Irish guys going fishing the next morning in a gas station. <laughs> they didn't know I was in the car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they Did were they awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. we laughed. They apologized for five minutes for waking me up. I'm like, man, don't worry about it. So it was awesome. Nice, yeah. nice. I Absolutely. I find the Irish people in Eastern Canada still have a lot in common. Way more, I oh, find, well, even I, than like the like the, the the lower east of of uh, the states and that. Well, absolutely, and and Montreal, of course, was was the place that most of the Irish right ended up mm -hmm. um, coming up through coming up through the you know down the St. Lawrence. And, uh, there there was a lot to <laughs> New Brunswick, all that Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, but a lot of them made it to uh, to Montreal as well. Yep. That's why there's such a huge Irish connection with Montreal. And why, why they still paint St. Catherine Street green, you know, uh, or the line green for uh, the Paddy's Day. Yep, that's right. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's cool that it's still that connection to it and, that, and talking to yeah, the people no, it's over amazing. there. And if you ever, be, I'm sure you've been to Newfoundland and that, I mean, it's so much yeah, of course, in common yeah. still, so. Oh, hey, Joey says, Sonny Greenwich, uh, Aviva Frey, and Gina Walters at the Fairmont. They just redid it, so yeah. <laughs> the Fairmont yeah, Hotel absolutely. in Montreal, mm -hmm. that would be something. Mm -hmm. yeah. My God. Yeah. Well, yes. I'm up for it, definitely. <laughs> that, that, 
You make some really yeah. great friends on here. <laughs> I, like, I, I'm sort of, I'm contemplating trying to go to one of these, like, Vid Summit or one of these kind of things, you know? Um, mm. There's one in I London, like I think. Uh, this week in London? On, well, it's, it's, it's coming uh, up shortly. Soon. Coming up in London, yeah. yeah. There's one in London. Yeah. That's always really? the way, <laughs> the last minute. <laughs> Well, I mean, London is easy to get to from here. Yeah, exactly. London. She's like, I better write this down. <laughs> yeah, I I just actually looked at it a couple what, of days what, ago. What, what is it? I will uh, I will I will look at it and I will send it to you. Okay. Okay, brilliant. That, Vid- that'd be fantastic. VidCon is it. London is in February two thousand nineteen. Yeah, there you go. VidCon uh two thousand nineteen February. Fourteen. Okay, so not VidCon then. What what's the one? Vid what's the one in L A? Uh, that would be Vid Summit, probably no. Vid Summit, that's it. Is that the one that um, what's his name, Daryl Daryl Eaves? Uh, yeah. That's the one that I kind of want to go to. Uh, we're looking them up for you. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, you get all the treatment tonight. We'll yeah, yeah, I, mean, uh, so, uh, yeah, I, yeah I, love, I love that. Yeah. Um, uh, the, the re- reason being is that there's quite a few of the people that I follow that I, uh, that are in and around the LA area. And I'd love to, uh, uh, love to meet up with them basically. Yeah. Well, it, what's this guy? Froze, uh, frozen, frozen fury. fury, man. You're a good guitar player, bro. He is. He is. He is. Yeah, I've watched, I've watched a lot of your videos, man. He was on awesome. with us Monday night and, uh, yeah. Oh, oh excellent. Ah, man. I was, I was, uh, I was playing in cork Monday night. That's right. That's right. I remember because <laughs> we had mentioned it to you. We had two musicians on this week. That was a first. So, yeah. Oh, no. Now, he's really super talented and a really, really nice person, too. So, oh, absolutely. You know. I, I, I could tell, I could tell right through the camera, yep. right through the screen that you, you feel it. You feel his goodness. You know, and he like giggles that. on everything. He's going to laugh when I say that. And I can hear him right now. Yeah. Ah, nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> I love that kind of spirit. That yeah, was, me too. You're one of the ones. I mean, like you and A, Joe and the, I mean, you guys, uh, Terrell, you guys were the great yeah. channels that helped shape where our live stream went. And you guys really oh. helped us in attracting people that were in a kind of more, I always say the cream of the crop. I really do thank all you guys for it because you guys helped build it that way. I always believe you get enough in at the first and keep it that way. The ones who aren't kind of get tired of you very quickly. Yeah. Well, look, I mean, all, all I can say uh, is that, um, it's mutual because it, uh, mm. you've definitely helped my channel out by uh, by uh, by leaps and bounds. Well, we believe you know, in you. Leaps, <laughs> leaps and bounds. So, and and absolutely every all these people. I, I'm looking and I, I actually know, like I said, like at least half the people here yep. I'm subscribed to. That's right, and they you do know? speak very highly of you. So yeah, yeah, I've I've been around, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> around <right. laughs> knocking these people's doors and saying, hey. <laughs> That's the way you got to do it. I mean, I always say you got to cast a big net to get some good fish. You've heard me say that. Yep. And I for sure. It. Yeah, go. No, I was just going to say the same with music as well. I mean, anything like that, you got to be heard. You got to put yourself out there to have a chance to be heard by the right people. Yeah. No, of course. Um, it, it's a funny thing that though. though uh, speaking of that sort of stuff, uh, is that the, the uh, there is no real underground anymore. Nope. It's gone. That, that whole is thing is b- because of the internet, really. Yep. Because any everyone that has something I, I can find a place for it to go. You know. That is true. So, yeah, it's it's kind of a, it's kind of a weird thought. I mean, I think the under, underground still has a voice. It just has a lot bigger voice now. Instead oh, yeah, of being no, what, what I mean is, it's not underground anymore. No, it's, it's there. It's, it's right forefront. there. Right? Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're right. not going to see so many superstars i believe as time goes on that money is going to be more divided between a lot of medium size because there's so many varied choices to listen to now where we were just saying that last week if you and i had yeah. a talk 15 20 years ago about a genre of music chances are five out of ten we would have the same bands we would pick yeah of course because there was there's was only 20 of them exactly <laughs> you know what? yeah uh, electro I mean, records was deciding what we listened to and how 100 percent, 100 percent and you know, I was I was on Polygram in Canada. I was on uh, Island in the States, um, so I I kind of know about that. <laughs> <laughs> For all the good it did me, you know. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, I get you on that one. But you guys got a Juno Award, man. I mean, that's something to say. Ah, uh, well, you know, yeah, I, I, yeah. I I mean, I, I I'm 
extremely proud of that Juno, and it's a great it's a great thing. Uh, but I've won all kinds of other awards as well. You know, uh, I, I won Songwriter of the Year. That's cool. Twice, I I I won a, a Felix Award in Montreal. You know, uh, whatever what are they called now? The Felixes. I can't remember what they're. It's the Felix, the A Disc Awards. Oh, right? that's, yeah. oh that's yeah. Are, are they still around? Yeah, the A Disc. I, I think so. As far as I know, yeah. I didn't know the connection between the two of them though. They they they, they call the statue of Felix. Right, exactly, exactly. I never. Okay, yeah. now I follow you. Yes, that's yeah. the problem with Canada. We're so bad at keeping up with our own stuff. Really, absolutely. But anyway, like like it, it, truth is that that stuff is it's it's kind of although it's really nice and uh, you know. Yeah, I know. I know. I, 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 I gladly have some more of them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it really, uh, it it doesn't do much for you. Yeah, I, I you know. it's hard. I mean, we all know it's a small market. We're a gigantic country with a very small market. Hey, Joe, you can't put skates on a duck. Sonny Greenwich Jr. is such a value channel <laughs> and delivers awesome content every time. Like Gresky, 99, he delivers. And a I'm Juno going piece. where the damn puck is. That's <laughs> <true>. <laughs> oh, my God, that's awesome. <laughs> um, but the first time when you did get an award, was it? did it felt any different afterwards? Was it something like, you know wow well, i I made it or like where when did you when did you get that feeling you know yes i i am um, when i met mc hammer <laughs> mc hammer <laughs> i don't know he was at the junos i don't know he was there <laughs> really <laughs> yeah he was there yeah i guess he was he was there for um best international award or something you know, you know? Oh. I said, yeah this is that's mc hammer and he's wearing those funny pants. Oh my god, that, yeah, that was an unexpected answer. I must say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> did not expect that at no. all. <laughs> Threw me for a loop. I gotta say. <laughs> uh, hey, oh, Craig, yeah. how you doing, man? You good? Good to see you. Hmm. Craig Grievous. Yeah. I, I watch. I watch him every day. <laughs> yes, yeah. we know Craig as well. Yeah, yes, it's great awesome to have him guys. in here. Yeah. I gotta fix my glasses. I don't know what I did to them tonight. I. Uh, was playing with my daughter. Sorry, <laughs> I gotta bend them back a little bit, and I kind of broke them on the side, so I had the last minute. And throw you them can't on. see, kind of. <laughs> yeah, so I got a little bit of double vision by time. So, yeah. <laughs> but um, the show hey, must go on. <laughs> Joe, thank you, thank you. I, pr I appreciate that, man. Re really, really appreciate it. Because I, I mean, I, I, I think you're a monster, man. Uh, oh. I really, really, really. Joe, so, Joe doesn't know this, but one of the biggest honors I've had on YouTube was the time he used our intro in one of his videos. I was so proud of that. They, they, yeah. The guy is a killer. Like, yeah. You know. Yeah. It's, uh, he's stayed true to what he does. Nothing but total utter respect for him. So. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> it, it, it's funny how those uh, how people you meet like that are, yeah, it's just great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> World famous Craig Revis. <laughs> <laughs> Rive, it's Greg Rive. Do you ever get that when you talk to some of your friends outside of YouTube and you tell them about here, they look at you like a dog with one ear up, one down. They don't understand how you can make the connection. What uh, you mean being uh, being on the uh... like like the pe like you know we were saying like getting to know everybody like A Joe and us and all these people. Have you ever told people that aren't on YouTube about the connections you made and they kind of don't get it? Um, I I I don't usually talk to people much about it really. Hmm. You know, although you know, people know I have a have a channel here, but it's kind of uh, you know they kind of laugh at me. You know, they're just like, "Oh yeah, there's Sony in his, in his channel." Like, <laughs> well, we're not laughing at you. <laughs> no, no, no. But I mean, around here, like around. No, here, no, like, I know what you mean. I know. I'm just saying. Don't worry, we got your back. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm but, the opposite. The, I I tell everybody my barber. If I buy something at yeah. Best Buy, I'm giving them business cards. I always tell them. <laughs> yeah, well, that's it. I even I even have business cards, man. You know, I even, actually went and did it. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> you're you're going into it. Your channel's going to take off. It really is going to take off. It's a it's it's a numbers game. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, I <laughs> love so it. So cool. I love that. I love that. It's awesome. hilarious. Awesome. And just just the YouTube thing on the back. I love but, it. But yeah, you no, know, I did it. You know, and and my friends are like, "What? What are you doing, man? <laughs> Is it? But, you know, shut up, man." <laughs> I don't want to hear what you got to say about YouTube. That is so funny. 
<laughs> we'll see who's laughing when you got a million subscribers and everybody yeah, yeah, going, yeah. you know. <laughs> Justin Bieber's asking for you to come and. <laughs> yeah. Have you had well, a chance to meet him? I knew, I knew Justin's mum. <laughs> Did you? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I, I did know a few people's mums over the years. So it's, you know, we're getting old, you know. That's right. That's right. But you know what? We're getting wiser with age, so we get to enjoy it more. So yes, hey Joe, I do. I do follow Stellar. I I really think we're like YouTube isn't just as they say young people's game. I believe the gaming sector is pretty locked in and stuff like that. But us, you, hey Joe, we're all proving that we have something to say on here that's kind of important. And uh, it's a good opportunity, nonetheless. Well, I mean, I, I hope people don't forget that you know, uh, it's not only. Uh, well, I'm sure Will Smith is my age. You yeah, know, you know what I mean. So, like, <laughs> if you saw what happened when Casey was standing beside him, yes, <laughs> they went to see Casey. They, Will, get out of my, get out of here, man! I'm going to talk to Casey. <laughs> Yes, that is crazy. That was like, scary. That's, yeah. Will, that's Will Smith. <laughs> Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yeah, yeah. And everybody's like, what? He saved, <laughs> he saved the world from aliens. <laughs> oh, and they want to talk to Casey, you know? That is a good one. Well, that's right. they put him on a YouTube rewind, so now everybody knows. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. They put the both of them to settle the yeah. store. Yeah. Just well, to remind everybody. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure about the rewind thing, but. Um, I like Will Smith. I think he's a good guy. And I bet you if you met him, he'd be just fun. Yeah. Yeah, it feels he's like not, that. So yeah. Yeah, he, he seems... He jumped the canyon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did he? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, out of the helicopter or something. Yeah, 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 yeah for right. his yeah, birthday, yeah. I yeah. think it was a big, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. big opla there, yeah. Uh, well, anyway, so but, but what I'm saying is that I think he's one of the guys that hasn't fallen so far deep in into the the chasm of of uh fame mm -hmm. i like yeah. to think so too yeah i do yeah. think he's got some grounded into him i do too yeah i think that's a fair statement and i mean youtube is opening up a lot to our ages are coming into it now where it wasn't really so tapped in before because now my age like i'm 44 and i've been kind of growing up with youtube because yeah. i of what i did at the time where a lot of people who weren't into multimedia kind of tended to brush it off at first but now I even well, see my parents in their seventies are into YouTube and stuff like that. Sure, why not? Why not? I mean, it, it, absolutely. I, I think it's 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 open and free for everyone to, to come. Yep. You know, and and I think um, I think people have uh, uh, older people. Sure, they've got lots of things to tell us. Yes, know? definitely. Tell, I know? agree. It gives a voice uh, to it. And and the one the one thing that I found is uh, for, at least for myself is that I've I because I grew up. I saw what's that Lewis Hamilton I, I just did we were having dinner in, in London uh, last month and Lewis Hamilton was sat at the next table to us whoever said it Gary Foster oh Ooh, yes <laughs> anyway uh, what, what I was going to say is she's uh, I lost my train of thought there no problem um, <laughs> uh, that's okay I, <laughs> so, so, we do that all the time, so don't yeah, feel. Yeah, well, I said, Gary, you threw me out, man. You, you, you messed me up with the Lewis Hamilton thing. <laughs> uh, anyway, the, the, I mean, the, the point the point is, I think that everyone everyone's got a space to to to, to work yep. with here in, in YouTube, and the in terms of editing the videos and all that kind of stuff, I got that because I I, I cut our 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 uh, music videos back in the old days. Oh, really? I didn't know that yeah, part. That's, that's 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 how I learned how to how to you know cut film, oh. and and I'm like I'm still you know I'm not you know well, I don't know. I think you're doing pretty I'm, good. I'm an, I'm an I'm an amateur at it, but I'm a, I'm a, I'm a I'm a I'm a good amateur. You are. I I think you do great work, so I would not <laughs> yeah, sell good. yourself short on that. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's um, funny, isn't it? I, I wanted to dive back into the, the booth. Oh, oh God, <laughs> so, she's looking at me. So she's yeah, yeah, go on. <laughs> well, yeah, no, I, I just wanted more, you know, the stories from tours and all that that I am all excited about. <laughs> yeah. How did it happen? Like, for maybe for those that uh, are not as familiar uh, with uh, what Butsa says and how did you uh, ended up being a part of it? Um, you know, it was quite a big thing <laughs> in Canada. Yeah, well, yeah, it, it was. Yeah, it, it. Yeah, it was. It was pretty amazing for me as well. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, petroglyphs. 
Petroglyphs. So, sorry, hang on a second now. Joy Stewart, <laughs> the Petroglyphs of Technology. Now, the only person I didn't know, there's, uh, what's his name? The guitar player, um, Thousand Year Old Petroglyphs. <laughs> That's a, what a, a strange word to bring up. <laughs> anyway, Joy. Um, boot Sauce. Yeah, it was. We kind of met um, through friends of ours in Montreal. Uh, the guys had been, the other two, uh, Drew and Perry, were living in the UK and had just come back to Montreal. Mm -hmm. And um, um, they were kind of, they were trying to get music together and trying to do everything, you know, trying to put this this thing together. And what what at the, at the very time that the Boots House started, it was. Uh, she drives me crazy. Whatever that band was. What yeah. was like? You no, know, there's the three guys in it, right? So ooh, they saw ooh, ooh. me and Drew and Perry, and I said, "That's three guys. Let's make a band like those guys." You know, like so they wanted to make this thing out of us that we weren't. You know, right? Oh, okay. And and, and luck and luckily, luckily, <laughs> I mean, we were two big personalities to to let it happen. You know, but from the day we met to the day we were signed by Polygram in Canada was six months. Wow, that was that was like so fast. Yeah, that's that's yeah. lightning in music industry. Did it even yeah. register at the time? Like uh, because it was such oh, yeah. a yeah. Oh yeah. Like oh, yeah, for sure. Wow, that must have been we, such a crazy ride, like six months and it's such a difference. Yeah, no, it, 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 it was something else. But like you know, we were in the fufoon, kicking out the jams there, ah. and, you know, like, playing all the places. You know, just my favorite just, place. Uh, just just the Montreal spots, man. We were there, you know. Mm. And uh and once once it took off, we, we went on a tour with a band called Fifty Four Forty as the opening act across Canada. Um and that was our first tour of Canada. And then uh after that we were just out on our own. I wow. mean it only took the one tour to, to get to the point where we could do the whole Canadian tour on our own. And uh uh what year, what year was that in? Uh, that would have been 1990, I think. Um, and also, uh, a funny thing happened with the, the Boots House stuff because you can't buy it anymore. No. It's gone. Uh, it, um, we were right on the cusp. So our first record, the Brown album, was actually on vinyl. And it was the last vinyl ever ever uh, that you know our next record was just a cd Bam. Right. no vinyl whatsoever nothing was gone so it was kind of um and also we were one of the first bands to use sampling in the music as well hmm. so even though we knew at the time we had to, to to check the samples for their rights and all that and which we did i think that the record companies were a little bit shy to 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 to, to let it happen if you know what i mean yeah right they were so really... now i think I, I, as far as i know uh universal still owns all the boots House records uh i've been putting boots House stuff on my channel since day one and no one has come after me at all because i have this feeling that i seen you play at the brick in montreal yeah, very much yeah for sure and like 93 sure. <laughs> maybe or so yeah, like that sure. yeah yeah, I'm sure. po I'm positive. I'm positive. I don't want to put my foot in my mouth, but I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, 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 sure. I played, I played, yeah, of course. Because yeah. yeah, I, I, I knew of you, and a friend of mine really, really gravitated to your music, and I remember him, like, he, he got on a real kick. You know when somebody gets something in their head, and that's all they'll listen to for, like, four months straight? <laughs> and it was, it was, boot and I'm positive, and I haven't had a chance to talk to him yet to connect to see if, but I'm sure we did. Well, we've, we, we definitely played The Brick, so they, that's, yeah. I yeah, love that really, bar. That was my favorite bar in Montreal. Yeah, it was, that was something else. Yeah, yeah. I saw a bunch of people there, too. Actually. Well, the screen would go up. They would show old shows. Yeah. You'd pay five bucks, and the screen would go up, and then it would be like Kiss in the middle of a tour. They're just doing like a broken down <laughs> yeah. set. And then yeah. on a Friday, and that would be on a Wednesday night, and then a Friday night would be some band from Toile Revere you never heard of. Yeah, you never knew who was going to be there. I, I'm pretty sure I saw April Wine in there as well. Oh, my God. Ooh, they lived yes. there. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you, if you want to see, what's his name? Jerry, the drummer there, uh, the bald guy, Jerry. Yeah. Jerry Mercer. <laughs> Jerry Mercer. He's playing at Smoke yeah, Meat. Yeah. He's playing at Smoke Meat Pete's and Il Perot. You can see him doing uh, Blues Night there. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, he's, yeah. He was he's kind a, of. He's a, he's a good guy. He was a fixture of jam. Guy. 
they always kind of stayed true to him, even after he wasn't like really like not picking them, but like not as relevant. He still always kind of had a home at jam every time he come over. You know, everybody knew him and stuff. Well, like I mean, that. he's an amazing drummer. There's Very good, man. and yeah, a really so nice guy. He really nice yeah. guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I, I I'd say he could probably teach some of those people some lessons, though. Yes, <laughs> that man, Jerry Mercer. <laughs> I, I always say he was bald before the guy on ACDC when they thought that was cool. He was doing that oh, ten years before that. I, so I, I didn't even know the guy in ACDC was bald. <laughs> yeah, and the, one of the drummers, the guy that did Thunderstruck oh, yeah. years, yeah, oh, yeah and yeah, everybody okay, couldn't yeah. get over this bald guy playing drum. Like, Puff, Jerry Mercer had that long before. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, Jerry. Um, anyway, so then from there we um, uh, there was a band called The Cult. Mm. Um, she sells and, sanctuary. And... Yeah, that's it exactly. Yeah. Um, and uh, they saw us. The singer saw us in Toronto uh, doing a gig, and he then took us out on tour of the UK, opening for The Cult. Nice. And and we did Wembley and we did all these places, you know, all around the time. Well, it's, it's not the stadium. Everyone keeps saying it. It's, but we did Wembley, nevertheless. No, you can say that. That <laughs> stays arena. true. <laughs> that doesn't matter. You played Wembley. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, and then, then things started to just kind of, so we did that tour and then we went back to Canada. And then things kind of, they sort of kind of started fizzling out a little bit, you know, and then, uh, it's kind of hard to say. It, it just kind of dissolved. Like we never broke up. We we just did the last show on the tour, and you know, didn't, never thought that that was the end of it. Right. You know, when when it when it kind of closed out. Um. So, yeah. But I think when, there's a that that happens a good bit with bands. They're not all like horrible breakups and fighting in the tabloids. Some of them just kind of, like you say, kind of a dissolve factor. Yeah, yeah. It, it's weird, and you know, we still. I mean. Sold half a million records, like you know, it's still, still enough. Like uh, yes, not, not bad. Like <laughs> nothing to sneeze at, as they say, my friend. You know. Well, if you could sell half a million records today, you'd be really doing something good. <laughs> That's right. You nailed it. You nailed. It. And you guys are talented. I mean, there's there's no shortage of talent in there, or ambition, oh, yeah. or quality, really, of the music as well. Yeah, uh, yeah the guys, the guys are still uh, still gigging. Um, Alan Bacchus is still in Montreal. The bass player, he's he gigs all the time. Um, uh, the drummer just did an album with a band called Rusty out of Toronto. Just okay. Recently. Uh, I'm not sure where Drew is the singer. I'm not sure what he's up to. And the uh, the other guitar player is living out in uh, Vancouver. Do you ever think there's a chance you could get together again sometime somewhere down the road? <laughs> well, you're not the first to ask. That's yeah, what I'm pretty I was sure. Yes, yeah, <laughs> I'm cut right to the chase. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, we'll probably do it. Yeah, we'll probably do it next year. Nice. Um, oh, that would be cool. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. I, 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 at this point in time, we're gonna do it, and it's gonna be the thirty-first anniversary of the Brown album. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> Because, because of course, we couldn't do it for the thirtieth, so we'll do the thirty-first. <laughs> it's just gonna people are just gonna be excited to have you back together. I really do believe that. <laughs> and you yeah, might well, know it's a great time to open up your music and expose a whole new generation to what you're doing. Yeah, well, sure. If we if we get it released, it'll be fine. <laughs> you know, you see, because you know what's going to happen if we do this tour is that that rec all those records are going to come out again, and we're still not going to make any money off them because the record company still owes them. Oh, that's right. That's <laughs> you know true. I, mean? I forgot. Yeah, you just said it a while ago. They have the rights to them. So, yeah. You know, but but like as I said, I, I put the songs everywhere on purpose, just wagging them in front of their faces, like here here I am, come and get me, because <laughs> yeah. I want to know who actually owns them. You know what I mean? And 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 let's let's talk. Yes. Yeah. Like, uh, is it possible to buy off the rights uh, from the there, music? For sure. Yeah. For sure, there is. For sure, there is. But I mean, they're gonna they're gonna ask more money than I can do. Well, that's the problem. Exactly what it is. You're gonna buy it before you yes. get together. <laughs> Because right now they have it in the bag. That's, so that's exactly it. That's yeah. exactly it. <laughs> even, even if, say, like, and I'm not paying you, even if it was a band that had no value to the music, they're holding on them because there could be value down the road. So they're always going to be asking a good dollar for it. That's the hard part. Because to them, yeah. there's always potential value. Yeah, for sure. You know? and, and it's funny. Is I remember I said to you one time that I, I got a, a takedown note. Not a takedown notice, but a, but a, a strike. Um, right. Yeah, for a song that I, that I wrote and and played myself but that was from that was from the jazz record i did a jazz album with my dad 
myself, Alan Bacchus, and my dad did an album called Meantime. Right. Uh, uh, the, the band was called Meantime, and the album was called Welcome Mother Earth. That That is available on iTunes, and, and uh, it's on Spotify and all that. Uh, but they they I got to talk take down from them an album that you know probably sold maybe a thousand copies or something you know it's funny oh, that's funny so how the crazy every yep. time you but, say that it's like what like how is it possible yeah. <laughs> well I mean because because they obviously they they're using the algorithm yep. to, to to catch whatever's coming so what it, what it is what what actually is going to happen is I'll tell you exactly what's happening they'll get the money for it and I'll get it. A year from now, right? Exactly, and that's what's going to happen. Yeah. So it'll go, it'll go through KPAC in 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 Canada, and then it'll come around to to the Irish distributors a year later, and then I'll get it. Right. So mm. in a way, it's kind of good because I can't monetize now anyway. So I let them do it, and I get the money anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a great trick. That's a very actually. good way of thinking about <laughs> it. Yeah. That, yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're not monetized, that's yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. And it is. I mean, really, in a way, it is taking care of your interest. You can't knock it for that. It doesn't judge. It doesn't go look at the channel. I mean, when it first hits, it is doing it because there is somebody protecting your rights as an artist. Well, I mean, the thing is, when I saw it, I thought, I thought they were going to take the video down. And then, then I was like, oh, oh wait yeah. a minute, hang on a second. And then I, then I went and read the thing. And then when I read it, I said, well, okay, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not making any money anyway. Yeah. And it's, <laughs> well and it's my music, so what, you know, what's the difference? And so you're right, because you're not monetized exactly. It's a channel through yeah, so it. so it's fine. And you know, well, you know, the the two cents will, will go to a coffee. I well, look at when we yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, you, you're not going to retire <laughs> next year. Uh, yeah. That's like we were saying about uh, with uh, that night we were talking to you about. It was like John Fogarty being sued for sounding too much like himself. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? absolutely. That that was that was the other thing. And and like I said about him as well, he's the reason why you can't plagiarize yourself anymore. That's right. That that's law now. Yep, because uh, of him. And that was, it was a bizarre case, but I mean, that's business and that's what happens when your art is out. That's the kind of cases yeah. that go in front of Well, the court. other thing is that they shut him down for years. Yeah. So he couldn't actually perform even nope. because they owned the rights to everything, including the live stuff. Yep. So he was, he was stuck, you know, uh, there was nothing he could do. So it, he had to do it. And it, if he had lost that, he would have lost everything really. Oh, know? definitely. 1000%. And not just him, but every artist to come. Oh yeah, every everyone that sounds like you know. Uh, I mean, you could, hey, there's a lot of bands that sound just like other bands, and and there's a lot of people that like a song that um like My Sharona, where they had a song right the next year that was just the exact opposite riff. Yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> that is so true. What? That's I was watching one night, and it was a great example. Was I believe it was the Temptations with these new recurrence tours that are coming out. And this is how yeah. bad the record rights own people. They own the rights not only to the Temptations themselves. And I'm sure I'm sure it's the Temptations. And they're on tour like, all right, we're going to play this next song. And this reminds us of back in 67 when we were at such and such a hotel. And there's not one original member in that band. None yeah, of them yeah. were there. But the record company owns the rights to the band, and including yeah, the yeah. stories, histories, everything. Well, we watched yeah. the Cool and the Gang uh, on my first uh, rock concert ever. For We went to Van Halen, uh, uh, his mm. favorite band, yeah. and Cool and the Gang was uh, warming them up. Well, I don't think there was any of the originals that I, there either. There's, there's not too was, many. Yeah, I'm and it's often sure. time it happens like that, too. Yep, yeah. definitely. <laughs> was Cool there? Yeah, I was wondering. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be able to pick him out of a crowd. It's been yeah, a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. He was no, pretty... Well, he was and, pretty and which one's which one's pink? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I, last time I seen them, they were a lot more sparkly. So I don't really remember yeah, yeah, yeah. one from the other. So yes, <laughs> I was more shocked than the opening band for Van Halen. To be honest, it wasn't exactly what I first expected. No, they were good. They did their really job. Good, though. But, yeah. Unexpected, but it was really good. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, well, I mean, you know, Van Halen. I mean, Eddie is a uh, you know he's a good guy. He's like just a like working class dude. You know, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's funny. He's he's not what you would think. You know. Did you ever get to meet him? Uh, well, I, yes. Hi, right. <laughs> gone <laughs> like that in Montreal again because, because in the day, I, I, you know, I, I got guest listed a lot. Right. In Montreal. <laughs> That's awesome. So I saw a lot of shows and I and I did meet a lot of people. Although some of them were, you know, you know just like fleeting hellos right 
So him, I said hello, and that was it. Never I, got a chance to talk. I heard a lot of horror stories about meeting Eddie, and I, mm, I kind of, I kind of maybe in the days when he was drinking or whatever, but I don't. I think he's just a just a kind of everyman kind of dude, you know. Right, right. And I would like to think that too, because I was one of the ones he was my white whale. I always wanted to meet him when I worked there. That was, but he didn't yeah. endorse anything we did. But I always hoped for kind of a run in some sort, some shape. Well, I think you'd probably like to meet him now more than than. Yes, yes, that's true. Maybe. That's true. <laughs> yes, that is very true. I agree. Yeah, yeah. I agree on that one. Yeah, I was always disappointed they never played anything of ours. <laughs> well, you know. It's impossible. They, they, they were being. They, everything was being thrown at them. You know, oh yeah, they, for, for years too. And it, 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 did you know it was Gene Gene Simmons of Kiss discovered them? Yep, that's right. In, in L.A. Well, here that here's a funny story. I was I was on tour with Kiss, selling T-shirts and postcards when I was sixteen. Oh was my! And, really? Wow. Yeah, on the, the the Kiss Alive two tour, so I wow. did that whole tour up and up and down the states. Yeah. You were 16. Yeah, well, I, well, I might have been 15 actually, but I I, I told everyone I was 16. <laughs> wow. That is incredible. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. an experience. <laughs> yeah, it was something else, man. That, but especially in, in those days, no one had seen them without their makeup and all that. Like, <laughs> it was all good. And Cheap Trick was the opening act. Oh wow, what a lineup. Yeah. Yeah, something else. Imagine when Cheap Trick is the opening act. Like, <laughs> yeah, and nobody knew them. You know, people throwing shit at them and everything else. <laughs> it's brutal. <laughs> it's not easy to be on the road like that, <laughs> especially with a what? huge band that people are really yeah, wanting yeah. to see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The hottest band in the land, Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing stuff. Well, did you ever get to interact with them? I know I was selling shirt, but did you get to interact with them at all? Uh, well, yeah, those guys they did, but they probably, they, you know, they probably would have thought. Uh, that I was just a young, young little kid, you know, because I was, I was just a young little kid. Yeah, like, and that would be like kind of a novelty to them, like. Yeah, what's it, Viva, Viva, are you asking me what my last name is? <laughs> it's Greenwich, like Greenwich Village, not Greenwich. <laughs> <laughs> like Greenwich Village, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I we say it all the time, and I should know better. We're always saying Greenwich. I know we should be saying Greenwich. I correct myself in my head. I'm like, oh, I've already sunk myself. I am the worst yeah. person once I get something stuck in my head to get it out. So, <laughs> so I now have you on. He's also saying that his dog took a dump on the floor, and yeah. that, that's how the name Boots House came about as well. And I stepped in in my little poodle's doo doo, and I said, ah, oh, not Boots House again. And the guys fell over laughing, and we called the band Boots Loss. Oh, <laughs> my God almighty. <laughs> yeah. <It's not> true. <laughs> well, that's a first. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. you know. <laughs> Dung ho. <laughs> yeah. It's always it's a built- great inventions come out of necessity and, and yeah, inspiration, yeah, so... <laughs> That was definitely an inspiration time. So, <laughs> I think uh, you guys are going to be getting the guy together, though. I think, I, like you know, the chances of it happening are great. So, that's... well, I mean, we we've we've all spoken, so we like we pretty much want to do. Everyone wants to do it. It's 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 nobody lives in the same country. Yes, you know, exactly. I mean, so it's kind of it's it's difficult. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we're going to try and do it for next year, and that's that's the idea. And we'll see what happens. And if not, we'll do it for the thirty second anniversary of the, of the Brown Owl. <laughs> that will be awesome, though. I really are you excited for the ch- opportunity? Well, what I'm excited about, and what I would really like, is is for people to be able to hear the music again. Right. Uh, I feel kind of. I know it's it's, it's kind of crazy that all, all that the, the, the you know five or six years of my life is just gone, you know, it, like all the songs. All there's uh, what four or four or five albums of stuff that's just you can't hear and it's it's nowhere to be found. I mean, it's on YouTube, right? <laughs> yes, you know, it's, yeah. there, it's there, so you can, you can listen to it if you wanted to, but but you can't buy it, right? Uh, um, so I would be more doing it. It would be fun to do. I don't really need the money or the aggravation. Right. But, uh, you know, because... The, know the, the heart is calling <laughs> you to do it, though. Yeah, it's it's like, I think I, I, I think I would I would like to do it, you know. Um, uh, yeah. And 
I haven't seen I haven't seen Drew in twenty five years. So it would be really like a get together. Oh yeah, yeah. So it would be it would be something. It would be it, it would be a good thing to do, and I and I, I think uh, you know being different people than we were then. Uh, we might get along better. Let's put it that way. <laughs> well, that was my kind of question. That was that was it, you know, because time uh, meant. And I mean, it's hard not to have a bit of friction when you're together that much, especially creative yeah, it's, people. It's it's like being married to five guys, you know. It is. It is. <laughs> it's, it, it's a pain. It is. It's it's and, and five guys with enormous egos. Yes. <laughs> but five did you... guys. If you go into if you go into a record shop in Toronto, the place gets you know shut down because there's so many people and they're trying to get at you yeah yeah <laughs> that, that kind of way you know what i mean it happened to me once they had to take me out the back door of of one of the record shops in toronto because the, the, so many people just started surrounded me really yeah yeah, yeah. that was that's fun cool that's yeah cool. yeah it was great that's gonna be a great feeling <laughs> yeah but it was it was amazing until it started getting scary mm. <laughs> oh no <laughs> yeah it was it was it was funny yeah well, it all, everything comes then, with a price. <laughs> yeah, for sure, you know. And the thing is uh, that, of course, now I, 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 I'd say I'd, I'd be able to handle it a little bit better now, you know. I, I'm not, you know, like, I'm, I'm a bit older, and I don't, you know, a lot of the things that I thought were important, I realized aren't. So I'm good. That was kind of what I was wondering, because if you thought about it, like about getting back together with the guys and that, you all have a very different perspective now. Yeah, for sure. And for sure. Kind of like a homecoming more than just a band getting back together to play. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, and especially for, for me, because I haven't been around Canada really for, for 25 years. So it, it would yeah. be something for me to get back there. That's a cool... You know? That's yeah. that, that's the nice part of it. It, it kind of because I've heard some bands talk about it before, and they kind of almost look at it like they want to right some wrongs. Yeah, well, that would be that would be certainly one of one of one of my issues. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know how to put it, man. We were we were we were bad boys. <laughs> we did a lot of things that I'm not necessarily proud of. <laughs> but that's part of being in a like band. Like what? <laughs> I'm not. Tell us. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not putting them on the spot. <laughs> no, there, there, there was this one time on the bus of uh, the Sons of Freedom in Winnipeg. No, you know. <laughs> I'm not, yeah, I know. That's why I'm leaving that one. <laughs> that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's entirely up to uh, you. Know, they, now, the thing is, mostly it was stupid, drunk kids mm -hmm, running mm -hmm. wild with, with money and drugs. Yeah. That's what it was. Mm -hmm. you know, Which, pretty I mean, much all it was. You know, like that's what you I was know, surprised. So was uh, when we had Don Jameson on, and we were talking about like behind the scenes then and now, mm -hmm. and 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 he was saying like you know now it's like basically we ha have a have a gig, everybody gets their cup of coffee or whatever and goes to bed. And he's like, what? Uh, <laughs> What's going on? And we, I we were yeah. kind of surprised, I guess, because you still have that you know th thinking that well it goes all wild and crazy you know it's it's music behind the scenes but i guess it's not anymore no it, it isn't really like that uh, but i mean if you came backstage at a boots show in those days it would have looked like 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 zeppelin's backstage right <laughs> that, but that was the goal back then i mean that was what was running you had to do that to prove yourself it was like a rite yeah, of passage for sure. you know for sure you know and like you know if, if you can't out drink Cinderella. There's something wrong. With yes. <laughs> Did you drink with Cinderella? Yeah, of course, I drank with Cinderella. Ah, uh, uh, what was that like? That's one of my. Old, I love their. I love Cinderella. Those those guys uh, taught me how to how to flip my guitar around my shoulder. You know, to go around. Oh, oh my wow, God. that's <laughs> yeah, yeah. crazy. That's when I learned how to do that. Um, Viva! It was it was called uh, Oasis at first. And it was at Claremont and Sherbrooke Street. And then it was called the Soundbox. And then it was called La Boite du Son. And it was also called the Keyboard Shop for a certain amount of time. Because it was all the same place, but basically in two different shops. And they amalgamated together for the end when the big ending came. They, uh... And when, 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 when the police, they changed the name to Boite du Son. 
I was going to say, I know what area you're oh. talking about right away. <laughs> a real, a real bright ray of sunshine on our on our history here in Quebec, of course. Yeah. <laughs> what about Canadian bands? Like, uh, I'm thinking of the the ones that I always liked was. Uh, uh, Northern Pikes and stuff like that. Did you guys get yeah, to interact sure. with them? Yeah, sure. We would have bumped into them a lot in, in those days. Right. Seen them. Um, well, they're uh, kind of going out when you guys were coming in, type of thing. Eh, I guess. We, yeah, we were we were we were all on tour at the same time. We 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 definitely bumped into each other a few mm-hmm. times over over the years. Uh, at, uh, towards the end of it, um, I uh, I I was on a. Oh my God, Cab Seven! How are you yeah, doing, buddy? That, yeah. Oh, that's awesome! Good to see you, Cab Lulu. Yeah, Cab Seven. That that's my dad that they're talking about there in that that uh, that statement. Um, anyway, that's so, cool. so I did an album a few years back with a guy called uh, what's his name from the Tea Party. Oh, <laughs> Jeff Jeff Martin, and Jeff, Jeff Jeff would be really 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 upset if. Because I couldn't remember his name. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it is, it is two o'clock in the morning, so I suppose I. Suppose We're gonna give you lots and lots of leeway. <laughs> uh, by the way, Lulu Love You is from uh, Halifax area. Oh, excellent. Yep, I shouldn't say Halifax area. I know she's in that coastal part around there, so I shouldn't pinpoint her. Yesterday, she was saying she's from Newfoundland. Yeah, they were accusing. <laughs> they were accusing her of being oh. from Newfoundland. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, they were oh accusing her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, I, I love Newfoundland. Newfoundland's great, man. They're the greatest people in the world. Greatest people. Yeah, just fabulous, man. I used to talk I was actually telling Cab Seven, I said, you know, one time, for instance, I flew there for business, didn't know anybody at the table at a bar, and three hours later I'm on my way to a house party with thirty other people yeah. I just met. One hundred percent. Yeah. Easily. Stacy, how you doing? Oh, Stacy's in here? Yeah. Oh, Stacey's Stacey Stacey in here. Welcome. Lots of Canadians. Lots of Canadians, done it. and Ben's an honorary Canadian, Cab 7, so <laughs> we always say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Viva, it's David, isn't it? How, how old are you, man? Because I'm, I'm, should I say how old I am? I'm 57. You're not old. Oh, my God, another one. That, that, that's just you, the beginning. I don't know what it is, is with you guys. You and, and Cab 7, you know, uh, it, it's like... In 1922. Yeah, Cab 7, he's like talking like he's Lincoln. He's 54. When, we're always yelling at you him. You know, when, everything, when there were no TVs and radios, it's like, guys, what, what you're, I, you're not old. What is going on? Because when, when I was a kid, we were like, it was so long ago that we, we couldn't afford a dog. So my dad would pee on the carpet and he'd rub his. <laughs> And then on the other hand, I have another one here who is only 44, and, and also yeah, yeah. is like, oh, my God, I'm so old. Yes, sure. Yeah. <laughs> sure, guys. <laughs> so what's the, the, the Leonard Cohen line is, uh, I, I hurt in the places that I used to play. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey, Lulu Love. <laughs> uh, I think Viva Frey is around your age, I think. I'm pretty sure there's more. Yeah, I'm well. Yeah, I'm 44. See, Xenia's 10 years younger than me, so I always say she's my retirement plan. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I served as President Lincoln Vice Vice. <laughs> 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 oh, it is like terrible. Look at hey, it. hang on a second. <laughs> I was there too, man. <laughs> I oh saw you. <laughs> to put to put these guys two together, yeah, imagine yeah. Cap Seven uh, oh my and God. Sony. That would be uh, just something. Yeah. Oh, oh my! Geez. Oh my God! You guys. Well, you know, this is. I'm hoping newbies are the best. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, I'm hoping. I I love to get together with the, with the whole gang. Uh, oh yeah. And, and I will do it at some point. We'll you know uh, I'll get over to Montreal for sure, and I'll get. I want to get to L.A. I want to meet Hector, and I want to meet those guys out there. Um, and New York as well. So, but I, I will do it in the next year. That'll be awesome. <laughs> That'll be awesome. Yeah. We're so looking forward to it. You, yeah, man, it's gonna be great, man. Are you kidding? You let me know the moment you got the plane <laughs> yeah, yeah. ticket in hand. Sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You'll you'll know before I have the plane ticket. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, because well, no, I mean, uh, I I think it, I think it would be amazing to 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 meet up with with people all around the place you know yes and i like i like to be cody and you know, i like to be you know, viva obviously you know uh, it's gonna happen it's just a matter of time and craig as well yeah 
Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Well, like, the connections right, so we established you. now, you know, all throughout the world, like I was saying that uh, we got the package from Korea today, you know, it's like you can go, you can start traveling and basically meeting all these yeah. people, uh, you know, on the way all throughout around the globe because it's so vast. And it is, that, that is what is so amazing, you know, that if we go travel to uh, Great Britain, you know, we have uh, numerous people to get in touch with and meet up finally, yeah. you know, and the absolutely. same in europe and, and in australia you know as well you know and, and it's, it's amazing and that's what blows my mind but that you know uh, no matter what and what about youtube is this is what brings us kind of all together yeah. you know be, uh, no matter what the time zones are what the status is financials whatever anything else is it just puts us all together in one room you know from all over the world and it's crazy I, 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 no it, it is incredible I and mean, it's something that uh I mean, it wouldn't wouldn't have happened five years ago, even. No, exactly. You know, you know and I we, mean, five years ago it was just just beginning. That's right. Exactly, and, and now we have you, uh -oh. you know, with a five hour difference, and and then we have had uh, people from New Zealand and Australia as guests, and you know, it's like it it, it still blows my mind mm. that it's possible, you know. Especially now because we can do it with video real time. That's yeah. what changed. Like before, you do it through conversations, and yes, you could go through Skype a bit, but it Absolutely. was a lot more procedure. Absolutely. You know. Now we all do everything yep. just on the cuff through video, and that's what's changed so much of it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, well, I mean, it also for me because my my mom still lives in Montreal, oh. so I uh, I got yeah I I got used to I got used to doing the you know the thing with you know iPhoning and whatever, <laughs> so it was it was easy iMessage or whatever and all the rest of it. So I, and then FaceTime came in, and then boom, it was just like just talking to her every day you know where she's rather talking to me as as you might imagine. well we didn't want to bring the laughter to but we want to bring your mom here she's with us tonight live she's actually in ireland at the moment so oh anyway, that wouldn't fly <laughs> brother's house in Dublin, so. oh that yeah. would be interesting it um, was yeah you never know that's nice she's over uh, yeah, yeah it's funny and that's how yeah, long is she over for? She, yeah, she's coming over, over for Christmas. Oh, nice. Uh, for Christmas, basically. Nice. And uh, she's, uh, we're, we're, we're trying to find a, a, a kind of a cheap house in Spain, you know, because um, you can get cheap houses in Spain, yes. really cheap. So just for, for uh, something to get out of the rain once in a while, you know. Right. Yeah, no, I get <laughs> and you. It, and it also so cheap. That you, yeah. and, and it is a buyer's yeah. market right now in Spain, for sure. Well, also because of the Brexit thing, so yeah. A lot of a lot of the uh, the UK people are trying to sell up or get rid of their stuff before they, right? Because nobody knows what's going to happen exactly, you know. Yeah. So, um, it's kind of a kind of a, yeah. I don't know, but but there are places cheap, and that's that's what I'm looking at. You know, to finally maybe maybe own my own house, you know. <laughs> <laughs> would be nice at some point that was hard when Xenia's mom passed away because we had the two condos in Riga in Latvia and that was a hard decision because oh really yeah it was a really hard one because in a way it would have been ha nice to have a home base in Latvia because it is still part of the EU as well which gives you access to all the other countries we can go in under Xenia's passport right but at the same time too Russia was starting to push more again and if Russia pushes one of the first places going to go is the Baltics and then you lose it, yep, you yep, know, absolutely. call it for what it is. And she had done a lot of work to it and that, and it was a shame. But yeah, that kind of sucked that way. Same as even the car was there. She had a brand new, well, what, four-year-old uh, Honda Civic, but it had 40,000 kilometers on it. It was like wow. mint, but I hated to sell. But, you know, everybody says, oh, well, I'll take care of it for you. And everybody has good intentions. But when you're 7,000 kilometers away... <laughs> Yeah, no, you know, and I mean, you never, can I always go there, yeah. and what I like, what we both like about Europe is that everything is so close, yes. you know, like uh, here it's impossible to go to the to East Coast, first of all, it costs like a million to go to fly there, it's yeah, cheaper, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, we were laughing, it's cheaper for us to have a meetup in London than it is to go to Vancouver, you know, so, <laughs> yeah. oh, crazy. Easy, easy. Yeah, it's closer as well. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's closer too, but it's, it's crazy, it's crazy. Yeah. Uh, you know, but uh, but uh, Europe is great about that because you can fly these cheap flights and, and and you can be in so many places and have different foods and different cultures, you know. Yes. And that's what I like yeah, about well, about Europe because uh, it, everything is so close, you know. 
Yeah, well, I mean, like when I flew to Spain the last time, uh, which was just last month, uh, I, I'm pretty sure we paid 80 euros for both tickets round yeah. trip. Yep. So 40, 40 each. Yep. We were gonna yeah. fly the to other year. Uh, the other year I was flying, I flew from Liverpool. No, sorry, from Edinburgh to Liverpool, and it was like sixteen dollars Canadian for the ticket. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. If you have yeah, no yeah. bags, it's it's it, it's a bus fare. Uh, bags? What are bags? Yeah, exactly. Hey, man. That's what I tell everybody. Like, if even I travel now, I go when I was going over, I always do it in a backpack and I have it planned out. You got three shirts, a sweatshirt. I love yeah. I love it. And people think that's only in your 20s. I'm doing it in my 40s and I love it. I love the freedom of it. I I, I buy a bag of Walmart socks. And I start tossing them as I get closer to leaving, <laughs> you know, because they don't last very long, but they're good for walking. You got fresh socks Ooh. every day. <laughs> Who needs socks? Socks are overrated, my friend. So, but as yeah, North yeah. Americans pack way too much for everything, you know. Oh, of course, it's well. Hey, what the, if we get a tornado? This, this, this natural journey. Uh, you said you, they're here. Seven-year-old is named Sunny. Yes. Oh. Yes. Uh, they Great have, name. They are. They are in New Zealand. Yes. Uh, this welcome. natural journey, amazing uh, couple. They actually are from uh, uh, England, yep. but uh, they moved to New Zealand. Uh, for contract work after the um, uh, earthquake hurricane that they yep. had there, uh, right. yeah. And well, I, w I wonder. I wonder if I'm following you guys. I, I'll, I'll have to have to check, take. Oh, a look. you definitely gotta check the them out because reason. they are amazing. I will, I will. I'll do that. They were our guests from I'll last season. Do that. They, they were they were one of the first oh, okay. ones in the chat when we barely had anybody. We owe them everything for oh, what yeah, we got. Nice. Yeah. yeah, they have really yeah. beautiful uh, videos as well. Uh, they they both kind of do a little bit of, of different yeah, stuff. Yeah, New, New stuff. Zealand is one of the places I'd love to get. To, oh uh, yes, you know, I'm definitely gonna get there at some point. That's one of our bucket lists too. Is definitely New Zealand like <laughs> yeah, top of the list. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see the the damn Hobbit houses. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they do a lot of tourism stuff in the area. Really great quality, too. Really nice stuff. So yeah. definitely a channel to check out. Thank you, guys, all everybody coming in and that. That's great to see you all. Uh, we have our guest, Sonny Greenwich Jr. I'm going to make a mental, because I know it. I know it. And I say it every time, and I get mad at Greenwich. myself. <laughs> It's like it's one one E silent and the W silent. Yeah, you're probably like plugging your ears when you know we're gonna call you out. Like when you're on, I can just say it. So I uh, know it happens all the time. Man. You should see the spellings I get. Uh, ridiculous. <laughs> Any, anything, anything, and everything. Oh my um, god! But what's this now with the socks again? Is that Gary? Oh, 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 I'll always pack my oldest socks to throw away when I travel. Yeah, it's exactly. Souvenirs. Underwear. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. As Hang you go. Gone. <laughs> That's right. That's for all the ones with the band starting their show. They just take them with you on travel. So I I, I, I did the, the bike. Irish train guy. Yeah, the Irish train guy. He's been here a couple of times. It's great to have him back. We have a gentleman tonight, as you can see, in Ireland right now. So uh, is, is, is he actually in Ireland? Irish train guy, are you in Ireland? As far, Where are you? As far as I know, he is. As far as I know. He, uh, yeah, we only just met recently, I think, like maybe two weeks ago or so. It wasn't that long ago, but I, I love the channel. I'm crazy about trains, so I seen that and right away I was hooked. Yeah, so. well, I've been, myself and my friend John here, uh, we've, we've been filming most of the, uh, what used to be the Irish, uh, the Southern Rail track here from Cork down to uh, Bantry. Nice. So we've been taking our drones out and and flying where the tracks used to be. And there's some tunnels and things like that. So I've been through a couple of the tunnels and we're trying to get it. I'm trying to do a, a, a sort of semi-documentary vlog on on the entire trip that's from one cool. end to the other and what's there now today. That's it's awesome. gone. They, they, they pulled the tracks up in, I don't know, one of the 30s. Mm, that's pretty <laughs> cool. Yeah, he's in Dublin, he said. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's in Dublin. Oh, cool! Excellent, excellent. My my brother's in Dublin as well. My my brother works at the IFI. If uh, if you're ever there uh, and you see a guy that looks exactly like me, that's my <laughs> brother. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> uh, how did you uh, how did you end up in Ireland? You said you went to France uh, and you went back to Canada, but how did you end up in Ireland after all of that? Well, my mother's family's Irish, completely Irish. Okay. On her side, so um, 
So she came over because uh, although it was her her grandparents were Irish, even though even though the whole family is Irish, it was Irish, 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 Irish as far back as as possible on that side. My grandfather, her, her father, was born in 1899. So oh so far back. <laughs> It was, it's crazy that as that she wanted to come in and and find her roots basically. So she moved over here to just you know hang out and look around and mm-hmm. and stayed here for a while. And I came over to visit and and loved it. So we uh, stayed you know basically. Oh, cool. <laughs> Something like that. Well, that's cool. That's that works. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, there might have, there might have been a girl along the way too. You know? I was gonna say that. Well, that's what that's I was hoping I was for. Just about to say, <laughs> yes. Yeah. The romantic story but, uh, of two sides of the neither world. My, neither my second wife or my third wife wants to hear about her. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. There, Kev said, well, don't think I don't notice when Sonny said that famous Andrew quote, 100%. I think it's a Canadian <laughs> thing. I think it is. <laughs> yeah, you guys, if you don't know, uh, Sonny is in, in Ireland, but he's Canadian. <laughs> yes, that's right. So, <laughs> so I mean, there's some blood shared there. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> and then I started saying 1,000%, so I guess inflation caused that one. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. On this natural journeys in public library, yeah. trying to watch us. Uh, uh, that I haven't heard that for a while. Oh. Uh, yes. <laughs> we do appreciate that. I didn't even that. know there were public libraries still. There's not yeah. many of them. They're they're no, like a, fading away like crazy. Unfortunately. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yes. you. They're probably on the on their lunch. Oh no, it's Saturday. So no, I don't know. <laughs> oh, please don't ask them about I'm the not. future. I'm, Thank you. I'm <laughs> containing myself. I'm not. God, that's who began that whole thing with her seeing the future was this natural journey by the way there's a little tidbit for you <laughs> they well that's the it. magic that's the magic of the internet <laughs> that's <yeah>. right <laughs> yeah. uh, Ma- Mads Entertainment we're, uh, you were here on your way to Iraq that's an interesting story I'm sure wow hey Nez lover <laughs> Nay lover nice to meet you as well oh Nez really cool really cool guy a uh, really cool channel excuse me sorry hey, um I- yeah, yeah, Mads Entertainment. What what is the story there? I'd love to hear that. Yeah, that would be interesting. And uh, if you, if you can't write it down, uh, do a vlog on it, and I'll go watch it. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's interesting. Yes, exactly. That's <laughs> that's true. Yes. There is a like yesterday. I think it was too. Was a is a Australian drone um, a channel. I'm 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 unfortunately I don't remember exactly the name, but basically he's Australian, and uh, but he's in a uh, U.S. Army. And yep, like really? all this time, I thought he is in Australia, but he's actually he's still serving. Like he's active on duty in the uh, U.S. Army. But he's Australian. Yeah. How does that, how does that work? Well, he decided that uh, uh, it doesn't matter under which flag you are on; it's all for the better cause of keeping peace. So um, he just chose U.S. That happens right. too with some Canadian soldiers yeah. too. They'll go and uh, they, they they can keep their 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 original flag badge. But then, yeah, they'll go and co- uh, go through the United States as well on that. So I had a cousin who did that, too. Yeah, I All bet right, you so never right. know, right? Yep. There's a drone channel. I'm like, what? Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's incredible. Incredible what you see. I mean, and also, oh, to drink some beer. Yeah, of course. Well, that was <laughs> well, I, I should have known. <laughs> 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 they like being around these parts you know? oh yes oh yes definitely <laughs> that guinness plant in dublin is crazy it's two blocks like two commercial blocks you, you oh, think it's, it's never gonna end it's enormous yep. it's ridiculous you, you can't it even fathom it's the same place like hmm. ended up yeah. being in germany for one month after iraq and that was a wonderful time oh yeah uh how long have you uh you were in iraq if i may ask man's that's interesting. Well, that's kind of why we started doing the interviews was type was because everybody gets to know their channel, but everybody has a story behind it. Same as like what you see with music, they would interview musicians and find a same thing with here. Uh, everybody has a story. Well, I mean, that's, that's incredible. I'm always curious about the, yeah. that, that there's a big, there's a much bigger story there. Yes. You know. yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yes. For sure. I agree. You really, you really need to do a vlog on that one. Now. Yes. <laughs> And I'll be there to watch it. <laughs> oh, this natural journey says, Sonny, I miss a pint, a decent pint of Guinness. <laughs> Absolutely. And the funny thing is, I actually drink yeah, Murphy's. But, you know, Guinness is, yeah, Murphy's is better than Guinness. 
<laughs> did I just bang my head into the microphone? I thought you did. I I wasn't yeah. sure. Uh, that's... Jay Hernandez, mm. you don't know what to do for your next video. Well, there's well, always lots of things to do. Yep. Hey, man, like, um, well, I'm sure, I'm sure there's something good to do. Definitely. There's always a story out there. And sometimes... Yeah, just uh, just uh, just uh, just tell a story about uh, you know even even what you've been doing recently you know how how have things been how how have things been going for you you know <laughs> I'd like to know. Sometimes people get into the it's normal you get into a rut same as music or anything and you think mm. too far ahead of yourself instead of just stepping back and looking at what you're doing at right now. Sometimes yeah. some, that can make an amazing story right there and you're not you don't even realize it till you stand back and take a look. Yeah, it's it's true, and and most most people's lives are pretty interesting, really. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, if if you dig through, uh, I bet you there's something crazy that's happened uh, with Jay that, that that would open his eyes, you know, and and open other people's eyes rather. You know, more importantly, that is very true. That is really yeah. true. Then that's what a lot of good vloggers do. If you're looking at the Casey Neistat, Peter McKinnon's, and that, it's not always they're going up and lighting up. Uh, the Olympic flame, they have a way. Peter McKinnon's great at catching, like going to the store and turning into a cinematic <laughs> yeah, event. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. it really is. When you look back at something, it's like, man, there wasn't much really. The, the, the But the storytelling <laughs> was just incredible, you know? Yeah, the the, the orange, wasn't it? The yes, the that's right. Yes, he did. Yeah. That was fantastic. That was fantastic. He could. He was the one who just took it that whole, like. Uh, uh, yeah, the extra steps. Yes. Oh, hi, Margie. Forgot to say, well, I'm so glad you got to say hi. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. And Cab Seven says, I can tell you a story about a man named Jed. <laughs> yeah. uh, Mads, was a, Mads was adding to the story that he was in Iraq for six months, got hurt, and had to go to the surgery, fly to the surgery uh, to Germany. Right. Okay. See, I knew there was a story there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, well, yeah, we definitely would be looking forward yes. to a video about it if you if that's something that you would be interested. First of all, thank you for your service. I just want to tell service. you right away. Yeah, absolutely. It, but yeah yes. thank you. Absolutely, I, man. All my kids, that's what I've been taught up. And even when we've traveled, even if it's a country that, they, that we're not living under their flag, you still say thank you to uh, of course. anybody who puts their life in the line like that. So, yeah, that's 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 something that, man, I, I you know, I don't know. I don't, it, that's that's hard work right there. Oh yeah, that's something that, that not not easy to do, man. No, 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 it is not. It's a big sacrifice. It's, you're you're giving up so much of yourself and to do something so much for other people. That's the kind of crazy thing of it when it's said and done. That's why it's such a sacrifice. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Absolutely. You know. Um, that, so make make the vlog, man. Do yeah. Vlog on it. I want to yeah. hear about that. Definitely. And also, Jay. Don't, don't be confused, man, and don't worry if people like your content or not. Just just do what you have to say. Yep. Be honest. Be honest. Be honest. Yeah, be honest. I think. I, I think when you finally when you find whatever it is that you want to say, it's it's going to be worth saying. So, I wouldn't worry if if if, if people dig it or not. You know, it's it's it, it has to come from you really first. You know? Oh my God, Gary Foster! I'm so sorry. Whoa. I am so sorry for your loss. And thank you for your what? son's service. Wow. Did I miss something here? Yeah, he said did my he son. Came back or? He said my son uh, uh, did, did nine months. Oh, my God. Oh, my. I, I hope you return safely. Uh, yes. and But I can only, I can't even imagine actually how it is uh, for nine months to, to think about something like that. Yeah, he's. Uh, oh, I got to uh, fix his glasses tomorrow. Oh, my God. That's how bad they are tonight. His I son has spent chat. nine months in the Middle East. Yeah, All it's right. crazy. Oh, my God. I see it. Yeah, no, I, I see that. Thank God. I'm so I couldn't be oh, more happy, happy to be to wrong. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, I, I, was, I was about to oh. say, I, I, I didn't see that. Oh. <laughs> Anybody who doesn't know, my daughter and I were playing and I messed up my glasses just before we went on. <laughs> so I kind of been really struggling to read what's on the chat tonight. So I do apologize. <laughs> Yeah, I bet, and it is. I bet it is uh, hard, and I don't know if it yeah. is harder or not for those who stay back because you kind of you don't know what is going on on a daily basis too. So, uh, uh, well, yeah, I, I, I know in a, in a okay, this is gonna sound trite, but being on tour, it's it's. I, I mean, I I mean, I don't mean military tour. I mean being on tour as a musician. If you're away for three months, it's it's hell. 
you know it's bad like and some of these bands are on tour for three years at a time you know like some of the big bands you know it's it's kind of when you get back as i said in one of my videos your dog's forgotten you your mom's forgotten you everybody's forgotten you know like it's and you got to try and reconnect into life reconnect again connect with people and then it's, yeah. it's, it's so weird and, and odd but uh yeah gary man yeah good that he's back they come back different he says yes yeah, for sure. It's for sure, it's a lot to take in. It's a lot. Uh, so I, I'm sure every parent that's they're proud of their children, and it's their worst. Uh, they're living their worst fears all the time. Every time they leave, I'm sure. So yeah, you don't. I mean, it's not the. I don't know. It doesn't seem. It should be a better way. You know, it's it's. Yeah. You know. Hopefully. But, the world will find itself at some point, hopefully. Yeah, yeah sure. You know what, what? I mean, <laughs> wow, there's a lot of people you know, in here so, for it. Yeah. ZD, uh, ZPD, uh, survival, tour is harsh, lots of work. Yeah. 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 yeah well, uh, <clears throat> <laughs> I carry you. You're not bringing this down, man. That's it's okay. <laughs> no, no, it's no. A, it's uh, in, it's interesting no. too. You know, it's uh, yeah. Like, that's the thing, you know. You, you, I mean, it's it's nice to learn about what other people go through. You know, exactly. I mean, I, I, it's it's something I've never experienced and never even come close to experience. Exactly. So you, it's 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 good. You nailed it right oh, there. That's that's been the greatest thing of all this is getting to meet so many people with so many varied stories. But we all kind of came here to YouTube, and really give yeah. them a chance to hear what they got to say. And some of the stuff is just so amazing, uh, and it's not always like. It doesn't have to be the grandest over the top story. Just hear more about their life, their perspective on it, uh, the things they've gone through. Uh, a musician's dream, I think, really for songwriting. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh, do, do musicians dream? <laughs> do they? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, oh man, hey Terrell's there too. Hey yep. weekend. Yep, absolutely. I came for the poop in the shoes stories. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. My Viva Free. <laughs> and that, yeah. that, uh, you know, but we can't pretend that things don't happen. Yeah. Uh, just because we don't talk about them doesn't mean that they don't happen. I exactly. think we've got to acknowledge that they are. And the oh, more we sure. educate yeah, ourselves about all of this, I, I think we should, really. We can't just pretend it's not happening. It makes us more rounded people. Exactly. You know, that's what's cool about here. We travel the world on YouTube and you don't need no passport for it. People from all around the world bring firsthand stories. Um, yeah. <clears throat> uh, well, so what, what is it that you're uh, doing now? You said that you have gigs uh, five times a week. Uh, <laughs> is it is it, what kind of music you play? Like what what is it that uh, you're doing? I, I, I've, I have two two local bands that I play with. Uh, one is called Crazy Chester, which is um, they're, they're both cover bands basically. But one is a full cover band with you know with the drums and electric guitar and whole bit, and we do stuff from anywhere from you know Neil Young to Pink Floyd, let's say. Hmm. Uh, and the other one is called the Americanics, which is a three-piece trio uh, with uh, three-part harmonies and acoustic instruments, like so bass, guitar, and mandolin. Nice. And uh, that we do on the nice on the like Sunday and Monday, for instance. Hmm. When they can't when they can't afford to have a full band in, you know that kind of way. Well, there's so much that goes on in Dublin. Those places of bands just cut, like uh, groups just coming in and kind of playing and throwing out the hat, you know, like a. Yeah, well, the thing is, uh, Cork Cork is not quite like that. In fact, we, we don't play in Dublin very often because it's not worth it for us to go up. Right. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, Cork is a really great town for music. I mean, mm -hmm. It's absolutely fantastic, and there's a lot of great bands around here. Um, a lot of great bands. Um, and and we get and we're well paid for it, you know. Right, that's the yeah, cool I, part of it. I mean, I mean, well paid. I mean, we we are paid. Yes, yes, yeah. You're taken care <laughs> like, of. Well yeah. Yeah, I mean, because <laughs> I'm not starving, but I'm you know I'm not, you know, I'm not living in a palace. Do you find it's inspired you more for your music since you moved to Ireland? Do you think it's had an impact on you for writing and stuff? Uh for sure. Uh, yeah, de definitely. Um, but uh, but more in the way. That uh, it's it's, hard, it's kind of hard to explain. People here kind of like to put you down if you're doing well, 
in a way. You know, it's kind of the mm-hmm. thing. It's, it's sort of a their kind of way of making everything feel okay. Right. So it, it's been difficult in some in certain respects to to do that uh, to get the music. Out. But in other respects, you know, the guys like, oh, your you know your music sucks. And I said, yeah, but it's mine. So, <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's a good answer. <laughs> yeah. That's a good answer. I love yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> you know so so yes it, it, it's 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 you know i got over the i got over the thing about being uh the best and being the biggest and all that years ago so it's for me it's it's more about really enjoying mm-hmm. playing and 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 you know uh and, and getting people to like it and the the weather, the weather no the weather <laughs> inspires nothing but <laughs> Oh man, it's so wet. It's pouring rain now, I'm sure. <laughs> Actually, I actually can't see out the door, but yeah, I, I bet you it's raining now. I went there twice because that's where I started and that's where I ended because then I left for a bit. And the whole time I was there, I never seen not one drop of rain except for a freak hailstorm. <clears throat> what? Where? In Ireland. I never got what? one drop of rain. I missed it. I went there and then I went to Scotland, Central UK, Isle of Man, and came back. And all the rain took place. I was gone. I never seen a drop of rain in Ireland, and I think it's what five days altogether. Yeah, it was amazing. It, uh, like I couldn't believe that. Because <laughs> I was supposed to have rain the whole time I was there. As I went through Scotland, Isle of Man, it was supposed to follow me. Yeah. And yeah, I ended up yep. it just screwed up enough that everywhere I went, I never got rain. And we had just rain here yeah. in Montreal because I stayed behind and with kids, mm. and and we had rain here, and he was there in all glory in the, <laughs> in the sun. It's like really mm. <laughs> out of all the times, you yeah, go. Like when, when I went to look, when I went to New Grange, like it was just like bright, sunny, emerald green, like sunny as could be. So yeah, I was pretty lucky on that one. What? Um, Joy, Joy, what are you saying there? What? Passion for hunting. I just talked with him yesterday. Seventeen-year-old nephew murdered at Ontario Mall this afternoon. Pray for him. What? Oh my, oh my god. god. Oh, no. um, that's 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 crazy. In uh, Ontario, Ontario, Canada. Yeah, yeah, he's he's in, uh, and they're in Toronto. Wow. Really? Well, so he's closer to Niagara Falls. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But what I mean is, he's not in Ontario, uh, uh, California, or whatever. There's no, another one. no, Canada. No. Yeah. Wow. Holy crap! That's 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 awful. Oh my God! Uh, yeah, that is very sad. Oh, uh, yeah, no, oh, I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, we were just there. What last night? Uh, yeah, the night before. The last, night before last. Yeah, last, we yeah. were just there. Jeez. Um. Wow. Yeah, that's that's um, man. The the world comes cr- crashing down. Yeah. It's a, it's it's a, it's amazing, you know. Um, the world's a real place. It's it's funny, even on the internet where you don't feel the it it's it's there. Yeah, I know. And and, 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 and you know Yeah. It's it's un- it's unbelievable. That's that's a, that's that's a that's a what a horrible thing. That is really sad. There's always something, right? There's always something. Mm. Yes, there is. And it's, uh, yeah, that's the reality of life, too. Uh, you know, that's what we try to say, that YouTube is the same as life. There's still people with things happening, with, yep. you know, people passing away, getting sick, yeah. uh, you know, having bad days, having good things. It's still people, the same people that you meet on the streets and, you know, face to face is the same here on YouTube. It's no different. And we should treat it the same way, you know, because we still <laughs> we are all humans here with all our things. Yeah. That is going on. And as we get yeah. to meet all these people more, it's more of a uh, more of a connection to all this stuff. So, you yeah, know, because you, sure. you know them more and stuff. That's awful. What? Yeah, Vicey, right. Good, good. Yeah, yeah, you're right, man. We got to stick together, all right. Yeah. Yeah. That is too wow. bad. Wow. Yes. Our hearts go out to <laughs> Oh, we lost him. Killed it up. Oh. Are you there? <laughs> oh, he's starting to break up. They're breaking up. Yeah, you were freezing up for a second. Oh, there we go. Now I got you back. There, we're good. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So, so. 
Uh, yeah, there's too many of these stories going on. That's just, even in Canada now, where we uh, used to never get bothered with that so much, it's starting to pick up more. You know, especially especially the like Toronto area, surrounding areas, and that. Well, it's just gotten too big, you know. I yeah. Mm-hmm. So it, it's once you get that many people in, in such a small area. Yeah. It's, impossible to control any of that well overcrowding is the number one cause for most problems and that's something canada never really had to deal with but now it's starting so it's and i'll blame that on the pq as well yeah it is you're 100 percent right 100 percent right on that i've said that before too i agree with you you know good night uh good night a joe much love to you hey, buddy joe, thank you thank you so much man for coming by really yep. really appreciate it dude and uh I'll be seeing your next video soon, right? <laughs> well, that must be epic. The yes. next one has oh, yeah. to be like... Oh, yeah. He's got everybody holding on there. He wants to. Um, oh. Jesus. So, yeah, no, that's... Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to follow on that one right now. Yeah, well, uh, I mean, like, I, 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 as I said, I mean, I, I don't want to... I don't want to be trite, you know? So No, I, no, same here. Same here. Wow, that's... Uh, there's so many tragedies like that. And, I mean, we had somebody, um, Kevin the Fam, I mean, his son the other week, what, two weeks ago, three oh. weeks ago now? The 17th of uh, November. Yeah, he got hit by a uh, train, Him, his 18-year-old son and his uh, girlfriend. Yeah. You know? And you know these people, you know? Yeah, it's... Uh, it's, it's got to take life and enjoy every moment of it that you possibly can. Yeah, absolutely, do you, well, that was something that the, the, that the Beatles said that they, of all their albums, they only wrote songs about love. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the you know I think they, the best songs come out of uh, sad situations, probably. Yeah. And how does it work for you? Does it like the do, do you does it write better when you are in a in a more summer mood? Well, <laughs> it doesn't. No, not not particularly, but. What it is is that more comes out if there's something sad happening. You know, sorry, I just banged my mic. Again. Oh my god, that's, yeah, I know you're like me. I'm yeah. always banging into that thing. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, I, I think uh, w- w- when things are sad, it it it, it kind of makes you think more. Of, uh, it kind of gives you an idea and opens it, you up more. Yeah, a little, yeah, something like that. But I, I try not to write things that are too much in in in. Um, I, I want people to be happy, so I, I'd be I'd be more inclined to write love songs and 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 kind of dumb dumb songs, you know, things like that, you know. Do you ever write a song and you kind of get into it and realize, okay, this is going a little too dark for me, and put it on the back burner, or will you see it through? Or no, well, well, well normally I'll, I'll see it through. Yeah. If I, if it's started, I'll I'll finish it, but I like I don't necessarily like. There was a song. Uh, that we wrote years ago called uh, what you need um it's a boots off song um and there's a line in it that uh we just wrote me and alan backless wrote it just just wrote the line and just did just like, this is crazy you know like, like, this is just a song blah 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 and then uh i don't know maybe six months later there was uh, this girl came up to us and said man that song really meant something to me and and it uh did that really happen to you and wow said, what no, I, I said, no, no, we just wrote it. And I saw in her face that that she, that she was kind of let down by the fact uh, that we just wrote it. Uh, so I've never, I never said it again after that, you know, because, because people, people will, will take from what you're writing, what right. they need, you know? Yeah. And, and it's better not to put, you know, what, what there's no reason to be like uh, like you know a child about it. You know? like, right. Oh, I wrote I wrote it because it was dumb. Yeah. You know. Like, you know. Because you don't want to hurt people. You know that that, that that there's no point in doing that. No, I get you so on that one. That's that's it's it's. I, I I'll finish a song if if it's if it's if it's on the way. I I feel kind of bad now. There's all kinds of bad that's happening here. Like, no, I know. Yeah, I'm seeing that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. What? Holy sh! It's crazy. Um, 
this natural journey is going to check you out they said so checking out oh your, thank, thank you thank you guys I, I'll, I'll likewise I, I will too I, I mean like it, because I had so much time during the day you know I, I actually <laughs> watch hours and hours and hours of people's videos right and not you know, not just Peter McKinnon's you know like I mean everybody's every single one you know well, trying to watch so many people that follow us now, I don't even get to watch the big ones anymore that I used to like to watch. Well, that's it. I, it's it's impossible to watch everybody, but I try and get as many people in as possible. Yeah. Uh... That's why even every night when we send somebody somewhere after we're done, we always pick a new one. We're trying every possible way to catch as many places. Like even Xenia and I rarely ever watch anything together. She'll take one, I'll take another, and we'll try to cover as much ground. Jesus, Terrell, man, that is, that is horrible. I know, I know. But. Um, thank you all for sharing yeah. uh, uh, things yeah. that you are, guys, in the chat. Um, I'm sure it's not easy. I hope it helps you guys. Like, if it's any sort of therapy to it or anything like that, yeah, I mean, we care about you guys, so if it helps any way like that, that's the the main thing. Yeah, well, that, yeah. that's it. I mean, there's, there's no... I mean, I, I, I'm actually kind of taken aback, but I, I, it's... You know, as we started you know, doing... My, 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 you know, you know, my life is easy. You know, I, I make some YouTube videos and I play a little guitar and I play some mandolin, you know? Right. But this is this is real life right here, you know, uh, coming right at you, you know? Uh, oh, definitely. Uh, I, um, yeah, I don't know what to say. And the more you get into, the, like, when we started doing the lives, after a while it was funny, because, I mean, like, I wouldn't say we're the most deep in the world, but, I mean, we expose ourselves. And the messages started coming in, you know, like, I don't want to say it in the chat, but I'm going through one horrible divorce, and this has been done. I don't want to tell anybody that I've actually found out I had cancer two months ago. And they oh, start man. opening up more and more to you, and they're like, you know, and I'm not putting us up, as, I'm sure there's other channels with lots getting this. And they start telling you, you know, I look forward every night when you are on because that's my time to get away from that. And I feel comfortable and I, I have a place to go to get away from it and stuff. And I mean, sometimes people will write a page long thing to you and that. And it's unbelievable how they open your heart up. Yeah. Well, the thing is, if if, if it does help, then then it's worth it. Yes, definitely. Definitely. But it, and it's hard too that once they tell you that and you see them in the chat and they want their time away from it. But it's in your heart knowing what they're going through, you know, and then you don't want to tip their hand and ever show that you know, you know, that you're going to let, you know, not let no, it know course, to everybody else. For lots of people, it's a getaway time. You yes, know, exactly. That hour or two, yeah, whatever yeah, they sure. spend here for sure. You yeah. Know. Oof. Yeah, it's just, it's just coming, coming on, on. Anyway, yeah. yes, absolutely. Love to everybody. Yes. Peace and love to everybody. Oh, uh, thank you, Heavy Metal Magnet. Thank you. Heavy you don't have metal. to do that, but thank you very, very much. You're Grab always so your kind. Pores just came in as well. Hey, Susie Channel's in here too. Other channels, they're right from the mm -hmm. very get go for us, Craft Beer Pours. Susie. Susie. Susie and Doug. <laughs> we didn't know that Doodles by Doug was our husband for like the first two and a half months that we're hanging around in here. <laughs> Doodles by Doug. <laughs> he he is this amazing channel. He he did the very first gift we ever got from somebody. He doodled us into a. Long story short, we had this pillow one night. We ended the show with a pillow for Xenia and a monkey for me. We were kind of joking around, and he he did the doodle of that, but with our faces into it. And that we've always That's loved it. So, so. cool. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 we're so proud of that thing. So mm -hmm. yeah. Well, brilliant, brilliant. I love that. I love that stuff. Yeah, it is. That's like tonight. Like I mean. Uh, Julie's uh, school to send that all the way from South Korea to us, like yeah. that mug and that. I I can't believe that, you know. I, th I thought it was North Korea. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Trying to get us noticed by the feds here. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah, all yeah. we need. No, I was so excited. It was Korea all together. Just no, nobody, it. nobody listens to the internet. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you, heavy metal magnet man. Thank you, man. Oh, Appreciate yes. it. Doodles. Awesome stuff. Doodles is in here too. Yes. Hey. There wow. you go. And one sip at a time to join us as well. Uh, Trish, the same as uh, craft beers. Uh, both of. Yeah, one sip at a time on my bucket. Uh, streaming from Ireland, amazing on my bucket list. Right. Well, Trish. Actually, one sip at a time. You're welcome here anytime. Uh, of course. Trish's birthday is on St. Patrick's Day. Yes. And her <laughs> name is Patricia, so yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. she has to go to Ireland. That's right. That's well, that's sure. it. That it's, it's written right That's right. right. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, my. 
Um, Jay, you take care of yourself, yeah. man. It was good to have you here as well. And get that video done, man. Yep. I'll we, be watching for it, so I, I'll come. I'll come and check it out, man, and then leave you a leave you a nice comment. <laughs> you know, I said a while ago, but people messaging us when they're sick. Also, too, we get young, like younger people that start following us, and they'll message us with questions going on in their lives. You know, I'm having a lot of trouble with my parents and stuff like that. I got a girlfriend, and I'm not sure. Like, it's amazing the stuff that comes in, yep. and I, it's honoring that they can feel they can open up to us like that. Well, look, I mean, the thing is, in in some way or other, I mean, uh, we should be passing it on, you know? Yes, definitely. So it's easy. It's easy. And and, uh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, are we getting raided? Yeah, we're getting raided by Fire Nation. Oh, thank uh, you. uh, Fire Kicks (laughs) React. Thank you so much for raiding us. Definitely appreciate that. That's cool. Absolutely. And uh, I I, I do, I don't know, though we are not like, you know, big channels, but I do still think that we have a platform, you know, uh, as we grow. And it is kind of, in a way, a responsibility of the message that we are putting out there because of different people different ages and especially uh children uh you know or, y- or younger creators uh, that are watching our shows and and, and i do feel that sometimes uh, and i also well, think that we can do more because listen the, uh, if you're doing anything you're doing more than most people hmm. you know that is so true that is uh, not for i mean just in general i love <laughs> that quote i love yeah. that <laughs> it's a very good way of putting it yeah. But, and I mean, like I like like I said, when you, you guys have helped me immensely, I'm personally on a personal level, like uh, you know, so I can only imagine how, how many of these people you've helped. There's thousands of them there. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Well, you guys helped us too. Without you guys, we'd yeah, have nobody yeah, to well, talk to. It's a two way street. So yeah, exactly. you know, I can't. I always you've seen that with me. Anytime there's a compliment, I bounce it right back because whatever. Oh, one hundred percent. But it, it has to. It has to be a two way street. That's you know, right. It has to be. Hundred percent. That I, I I believe into fully. Yeah, I can't wait till that that faster internet comes here. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to be out there live stream. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to come in pretty good tonight, you know. Yeah. Yeah, but you know the problem is that as soon as I as soon as I get any of the other stuff, like I did it through the YouTube app, and I also uh, tried it with with the other. What's the what's the thing that you use? Uh, were you OBS. Using OBS, yeah, yeah, OBS, and it, it was just it was just crashing. It was just too much, too much for the the um, because I, because it's only like a half a meg up. Y- yeah, so it wasn't going. It wasn't going well enough. OBS is a real uh, real uh, bandwidth hog. Like you're yeah. really gonna have power pushing that one. Hangouts is a lot more forgiving. Yeah, well, it also didn't work even with just the, the plain YouTube thing, whatever that yeah, one was. Yeah, Hangouts. So, yeah. 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 I'm surprised then we're we're doing okay with uh, Zoom because Zoom really pushes out the the qual- it pushes a higher bandwidth than the Hangout. So, really, yeah. well, I mean, it seems it seems it seems fine. I haven't I haven't had too many. There's a couple of little stops, but nothing much. No, it was pretty good. I was actually laughing <laughs> at Doodles by Doug. You can talk to yourself. People just start wondering after a while. That's right. <laughs> Words to live by. <laughs> yeah. S- speaking of uh, that sort of thing, uh, I. Uh, I bought the Osmo Pocket. Ooh, tell us, tell Ooh. us. What well, do you I th- haven't got it yet. Oh, <laughs> you will keep us informed, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I uh, I saw that. I think you know what? Do I want to carry all this junk around, or do I want this little thing? I am <laughs> I really said, curious. I want, about I want it. this little thing. <laughs> yeah, there are, the reviews it. so far that I have watched uh, looks pretty impressive. So, um, I mean, it, it, except for the mic, yeah. I think everything about it, it is just fabulous well it's a, i think it's a dgi thing to begin with the audio uh like you have to have like external i don't know if it has any external possibilities like can you play it in? does it does it's got a it's got a USB C on the bottom okay well then yeah so then with that that should be pretty good I, well I i'm, I'm hoping i'm hoping but like, like i said they have to, um they haven't even shipped yet even though i bought it last mm. week mm. i bought it as soon as, as soon as i was able to from here and uh cobus <laughs> dubus Hello. <laughs> and another thing you can do too is you can also buy um oh my god what are they called those mics are about 100 bucks. Uh, yeah, the lav the lav mics. I've, I've yeah, that's up. right. Or yeah, the, I've got there's also the personal recorder and you record it and just sync it up afterwards, you know, with the bad audio and I, I, I find I find that it, that, that they no they they don't always work. Yeah. 
you know, uh, I've, I've had issues with, with the frame rates and stuff like that, you know, uh, uh, so that it drifts. Okay. The sound, the sound will drift. I, I did try it a few times. Hmm. Zoom is one of them, but, actually. That was it, the name I was searching for, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not the same it, company. Actually, yeah. I might have just been drifting myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. No. Uh, Sunny Greenwich at Twitter. Mads Entertainment. Uh, the link is down in the description. Just open the description. It's right there. Uh, so you can connect. Yep, we always put everything right in there. So yep. it's easier for you guys to uh, find. There's all, all, all Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and also Spotify and iTunes where you can uh, listen to some of the songs. <laughs> well, I think we got to let our guests go. It's I'm just yeah. thinking of the time. I forget that you're in Ireland. We talk a lot about Ireland, but I forget about the time change. It's, it's almost five to three. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, we uh, can't thank you enough for some being so generous of your time. Exactly, and especially yeah. with the, the, the time difference that we have. That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> well, like I said, I, I would have been up anyway. Uh, but, man, I re I'm really, really happy to do it. And uh, it's, it's it's great fun. Oh. I'm sure what else would I be doing on a Friday night? <laughs> oh, thank you. You're so awesome. And I want to thank you, too, for being so good to us since you've come on the scene with us and stuff like that. You've been like a great supporter and kind well yeah that, absolutely and why not um hey david isn't it viva yeah, i know your name's david mike uh, no viva, viva, viva oh viva Frank, i was gonna yeah. say okay yeah yeah i was gonna say because uh, ben has always called me alexander and everything else and all that i answered all names so. no 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 yeah uh you're you're welcome man and and we'll 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 come for bagels some point absolutely uh in Montreal, and maybe maybe even go for some smoked meat because that's the one thing yes. that I really oh, miss. Oh yes, definitely. <laughs> Except now we go off island for we go to smoked meat Pete's. We can go see Jerry Mercer playing blues. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, man. Yeah. Jerry, I haven't seen Jerry in like I haven't seen Jerry in probably thirty years. He'll remember me though. Oh, I'm sure he will right away. Yeah. Be, I can just picture him on the drums and she'd be in shocked when you walk in yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> Sunny. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be awesome? Yes, oh, be, it'd be, it'd be great. I love doing hey, stuff like that. <laughs> Mads Entertainment, absolutely, you're absolutely welcome, man. And, and nice, nice to meet you guys too, for sure. And I, like I said, most of the people here I do actually follow, and I will get to everybody's channel at some point, for sure. Is I'm getting slowly through all of them. <laughs> he is so Canadian. <laughs> he can put, take a, yes. you can take the boy out of Canada, but you can't take the Canada of the boy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank, sure. thank you so much for your time tonight. Awesome stuff. And thank and you thank for you giving guys. us a chance to talk and everything else. This is so long overdue. So, thank yeah. You. Well, you know, I, I I like this kind of thing, man. It's and and it just it just great that uh, I had a Friday night off. <laughs> perfect well things work out for a thank reason. you yes yeah, yeah. thank yeah. you so much i do appreciate that <laughs> we'll yeah, talk to cool. you soon my friend you take care cheers have a good thank night you. much love Bye. buddy thank you so much peace and love everybody <laughs> <laughs> oh that was awesome oh my god what a great chat oh yeah, yeah. Uh, such a chill out chat yeah. as always on friday nights here and uh, yeah. and sonny i mean uh, Joey was right. It's such a for a YouTuber so underrated because yes. he has been an amazing and still is amazing musician. I want to say thank you for the raid. By the way, now I just typed it in quickly, but thank you so much. You guys are absolutely awesome. We really do appreciate it. We gave everybody here mods that was new, so it's always always. Ah, uh, uh, thank you so track. much, That's everybody in the chat you. as well, and uh, uh, Sonny's uh, social media links, all of them available in the description, so yes. you can go and follow and listen to his songs as well on Spotify. Uh, it's free. <laughs> uh, <laughs> check it out. And uh, yeah, it's so amazing. Doug, never say sorry for that. You said you got here late. That was just great to have you in here. It's always great to have you. You know how it goes. You've been here since the beginning. If it's two minutes, two hours, whatever you can spare. It's always great to have each and every one of you here. So, and that's like Xenia said again. Like you know, Friday nights is kind of a bit of that old throwback night. A little yeah. more relaxed, a little more chill, and that's what's so cool about it. Uh, yeah, he is uh, ZPD. He is cool. I like Sunny. He's got so much uh, zest for life and a good outlook and just a fun guy all around. Yeah, so. and such an optimism all throughout. Like you said, he's pretty pretty, pretty positive yes. uh, guy, and mm. you can definitely feel that a nonchalant uh, <laughs> uh, attitude to, yes. to everything. 
Oh, thank you, Fire Kicks. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Chris. Yes, yep. you guys helped us out Most yesterday, uh, surpassing 4,500. Uh, that was pretty cool. We had yesterday. Night Shame tonight when we first came on. We got him the last seven that he needed. Well, he ended up getting him nine. He passed 8,000 tonight. So he's yep. flying. Flying. Well, like I said, guys, it's not just about the numbers, it's about building bonds and relationships. And you guys are a perfect example of that. Uh, it's so great getting to know you guys more and more as time goes on. Uh, watching the stories in tonight, so uh, touching uh, the heart and that. So I'm glad that you guys feel you can always open up in here. So I'm glad I can make it when I can. Oh, thank you so much, Brands Come Farm. You're always welcome as well. And that goes like, you know, we take Doug and Susie, who we've known right since the beginning. And as we go on, people from the beginning, from the middle, and people we've just met tonight. It's always amazing meeting new people and connecting with you guys. So Heavy Metal Magnet's another one like that. Oh, Winning Hearts and Minds. Thank you, Doug. You are you're so kind. It's so good to see you. PD Tech, you have an awesome night. And thank you so much for coming. And I hope you enjoyed yourself. Uh... Oh, I don't know about tonight. That is so kind of you, Fire Kicks Reacts, but my daughter and I have plans early, early tomorrow morning, so I'll see how I feel after, but some night I definitely want to get back on with you guys again very soon. I want to chill out with you guys because you guys are awesome. I had such a good time the last time. My favorite part of the show is here, selfies. I, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you for the reminder, by yes, the way. that's right. That uh, is right. <laughs> I love that. I'm just closing this window down. Let me get them up here. Let me get them started. And thank yeah. you guys for retweeting uh, uh, yes. the stream. Thank you so much. And guys, I got to tell you, I was so excited. Not only we got to have Sonic Greenwich from Boot Sauce today, but also for those of you in Montreal and Canada, you're going to know that uh, John Paul, who is a CJD uh, Montreal radio uh, nighttime host, uh, which is the biggest English speaking radio in Montreal, That's right. retweeted our tweet about Sony Greenwich and yeah. actually said he is a fan. That was cool. Yeah, I'm like, cool. oh my god, <laughs> yeah. two amazing people on one day. Like, yes. I can't believe that. <laughs> That's right. No, that was cool. That was really so, cool. John Paul, if you're listening, thank you so yes. much. You made our day once Definitely. again. Oh my god, we love you so much. <laughs> and I want to take that time, guys, to let you know anybody who hasn't heard yet. Uh, next Wednesday night, we're going to have on Michael Price, writer, and he is known for his Emmy and Writers Guild Award winning work on The Simpsons. Uh, co-executive producer of the ABC series Teacher's Pet, uh, consultant on the Simpsons movie, wrote the acclaimed uh, Lego Star Wars special, and has a nice little perky job working at Lucasfilms, writing and producing Lego Star Wars franchise. Also, of course, he co-produced and co-wrote the Bill Burr series Efforts for Family on Netflix. Yes, uh, season yeah. three is going yep. to go on right now. Uh, so if you want to uh, get on that through the weekend and then join us for a chat on Wednesday. But of course, The Simpsons, I think, is known for pretty much everybody in every household. Uh, so excited yes. for that. That is going to be pretty awesome, too. So great. So great. Always trying to put uh, some more uh, amazing creatives right here for yes. your inspiration. Yeah, they're starting. We're starting to slowly get known and getting to meet some people, and it's got to be a mix of everything. And like we had a Don on her Yukon a couple weeks ago, who had what five hundred subscribers. But I mean, fantastic story, you know. That it's not only, it's a mix of everything. We we're always trying to do it that way. Like this week was weird. It was one of the first times we ever had two kind of lightly lightly related stories with musicians but they have very different backgrounds well so, yeah and a frozen yeah. fury is uh, is up uh you know up he's and young and just yeah. starting out mm. and uh, acquiring the knowledge and experience and sonny mm. has a um, vast experience of uh, being in a music career so i think it was kind of fitting to have yes. the beginning of the week with a uh, you know startup in yeah. music and and uh, uh friday was a chill out was a huge knowledge of music career and wednesday we had moose scraper a scrapper on that was just absolutely phenomenal like yes it was so yes. great story out of maine and that that's it's never changed guys everything is about the same thing about channels growing getting to know each other they're just all extensions whether it's tech talk tuesday the shutout nights or uh, the interviews they all fall under that same umbrella so and you guys make it awesome thank you so much uh doug and mads i really do appreciate it um so nice hanging with you guys. 
I think it's just about that time, though. It's soon time. Got to go for now. And you guys, fire kicks react. Oh, really, you guys are you're so nice, and I really appreciate it. It's always great hanging out with you and that. And uh, we're gonna talk very, very soon. So Brandon Rush and Vanix, hi. Welcome. Uh, good to see you guys. Yes. Mm. Uh, yes. Uh, oh, you have a great night too. And we are, as always, sending people away to yep. other stream tonight. If you guys want to check out another stream, we always pick a different one each time. If you guys want to head over, it's always voluntary, but it's a great way to meet new people. You too, Susie. You and Doug. It, it is so nice to have the both of you in the chat at the same time, just like old times. Really, really do appreciate it. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Like I say, oh, Vanix, I mean, real life comes in. There's so many things in that. Yeah, there'll be, a, there'll be lots more to come. Oh, selfie, selfie, selfie. Speaking of things to come. Oh, my God. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. All righty, let's take a look here. There we go. Okay, guys, we have Brenda's beauty vlog. Wow, does that ever look good? Making ribs and watching Blue Wrench Group. Oh, making me hungry now. I know, I know, I know. I'm starving. <laughs> Didn't get to eat supper. We were running around doing too much stuff. So, oh, and of course, the final product. Sakrama. Wow. No way. Oh my God! Now you're killing us. <laughs> That's crazy. Does that ever look phenomenal? Oh my God! Oh my God, Avray, That's so awesome. Yeah, thank you. That's I awesome. I love that. That is so cool. Thank you. I do appreciate it. Vissy, thank you for tweeting it out. Oh, I do appreciate it. That is so cool. Ooh, epic. As always, epic. He is like the king of selfies. I always look forward to them. There's not one bad one in the bunch like that. That's pretty good. To you, good. my friend. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. As always, guys. I'm hoping one day uh, Susie and Doug will get together and do a selfie of just their hands watching us. <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> that would be really <laughs> yeah. interesting, yeah. And once again, a big thanks to our guest, Sonny Greenwich uh, Jr., who is just phenomenal. It was so nice to sit and talk with him. Such a gentleman. A real pleasure. You guys are absolutely the, the cream of the crop. <laughs> Sunshine Dream Day. Well, thank you so very much for those words. We really do appreciate it. Glad you guys had a good time. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button. Hun, do you have a channel ready to go? Uh, yeah, let's we'll just drop a visit right here. Uh, yep. Hope you guys can come by and say hi to them. It's a great way to always meet a new channel. You'll meet some new people. Uh, so Instead of just a raid, we just send everybody voluntarily, of course, over to another one and pass it along that way. <coughs> we're all in this together and you never know the next gem you're going to come across and the people in the chat and everything else that goes with it so if you'd like to join us that would be really awesome you're always welcome and once again yes please if you haven't hit that like button please do it helps us out a lot it's always great to have you oh wow we got 125 likes wow right on guys right on very nice there you go guys Head over and check out Fairly Frequency if you haven't already. And if you have already, great time to drop them a visit again and say hi. We're all in this together. And remember, guys, be well to each other. As we've seen tonight talking through, there are lots of bad things happen in this world. Tomorrow's never guaranteed. And uh, just be good to each other. And especially as well here on YouTube. Not just in the real world, but here as well. And uh, let's make it a better place. Much love, everybody. See you Sunday. Cheers and keep creating. Be well. <laughs>